Hello? What's going on, everybody? How has it been? Well, it's been too long, hasn't it? <laughs> Yo, Jay Sanders, what's going on? Looper, Quan, Benji, Gaming Life, Jesus, Andrew, Dragos, Nate, a person. Good to see ya. Lig, Rohan, Leticia, Kutsuji, what's up with you? Long time no see. I know, Quan. It's good to be back. I'm just kind of catching up on the hellos here. Lots of people. Alvin, good to see you. Gotta go to work soon. No worries, no worries. Hello there, Moincrafter. Alright, I'm going down to the updated chat here. What's going on? Rohan, good to see you. Holly, Alan, what's going on? Zachariah, good to see you again. Welcome back. Yo, Red Builder, good to see you as well. Finally, you're not dead. That's right. I am alive and well. I hope you guys are all alive and well as well. well that sounded kind of weird. Surely you're here if you're chatting. What's going on, Purple Kit? Scrap Wolf, Clippies, Pineapple, and Zane. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you. So people were saying more survival. We're going to get some more survival on the go. Hello, Mumbo from Pain. Jesper, good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Air Mash, what's up? Hello, hello. Can't wait to see what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I haven't done this. I know people were saying Scrapman has done it. And I, uh, I've watched a couple of his videos, so... Um, I haven't really... I, I, I saw a few things from him, and I'm excited to kind of do my own thing, though. Pretty inspiring stuff, though. You're one of my first subs? Well, thanks, BJ. <laughs> You could have just written Nomad Survival. I don't know. I don't like the word Nomad. It's a mobile base. I'm making a mobile base. You missed the lives? I'm The live streams are coming back, and they're coming back strong. Let me just tell you. Uh, so, let's get into the uh, game here. What are we waiting for, right? Can we start? Whoa, Toby is... Uh, he's getting impatient. Toby wants us to start, so we're going to open up the game here. Now, you might be wondering where my face cam is. And that's because there is no face cam, obviously, right now, right? A mobile base time. Is this going to be posted? Yes, this will be a, a video after, as per usual, on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, so no face cam, but how about... Uh, this right here! Hey, 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 you didn't expect to see me in scrap mechanic form, did you? <laughs> it's good to hear. What accessories do I have? I don't know. Don't worry, I'll get face cam. My green screen isn't here right now, so we'll do a combination of like some scrap mechanic character stuff. As well as the, uh, the, uh, face cam. You know, once I get my green screen back, alright? But right now, I am my mechanic. That guy over there, that's me here. I know, right? How? Right? No one expected this. <laughs> and if you're wondering, obviously, this is the model from the game. But, uh, it was, cr it was done in a way for the streaming and stuff to, uh... To be used in this situation uh, by my amazing girlfriend, Jado, in the chat there with the little moderating wrench. So, we're going to do a new game. Nice, pretty original face cam. Hey, there's this is the world's first scrap mechanic VTuber skin. I think. <laughs> I, I'm just assuming. Trippy how there's two of you? I know, yeah, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do... Mobile base, not scrap man. There we go. That's the name of this game. Do I read chat? Sometimes. Can you do a face palm? No, I can't. You my. There's no arm tracking. But okay, hold on. You might see some weird. Okay, no, it's right there. I have to bring up the settings for this. So you're gonna see a little settings bar here. But look at what I can do. Okay, just for future reference here. While the game is opening up. We're waiting for a scrap mechanic to load. So I have this... I'll move it out of the way. Where is it? There it is. I can... I can raise my arms up. 
Yeah! Oh yeah! Look at that! Get your arms in the air! Woo! 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 All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right, and we're still waiting for scrap mechanic to load. Who would have thunk it? Yes, not scrap man. <laughs> Moombo in the metaverse confirmed. <laughs> How do you know we weren't all already in the metaverse to begin with? Oh my god, I'm swinging my hammer. Okay, hold on. So, I'm just gonna pause this music for now while we uh, get into this a little bit here. Do some stretches. <laughs> Could you imagine a ragdoll mode? So how do the frames look anyway, guys? Everything looks good. The frames are good. I just want to get some in-game music. It's been a little bit since I've been in Scrap Mechanic. So... Is that... Okay, we're gonna turn the effects down. I need some good scrap mechanic music in my life, you know? Oh my god, a crash. Whoa, this is my spaceship. What the heck? So I haven't played survival in a while. Wait, whoa, there's a scrap wheel in here now? Since when is there a scrap wheel in there? You were waiting for uh, someone to make a nomad world for a while? Game soup. Well, guess what? We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, um, let's see. Lift goes there. Ha Wait, no, lift goes here, doesn't it? Yeah, the the game likes to auto-swing. Okay, so I guess what are we doing? We're gonna put the fire out, right? I see, you like the videos? Thank you! Uh, yeah, I haven't really done Scrap Mechanic in a little while, so, um... It's kind of, it's, it's feeling really cool to be back in it. It's been a while, I've been craving it, and I miss you guys so much. That right there is a professional water launch. <laughs> Wait a second, what's... Are there really enemies at the starting area? Okay, first... First circuit board of the game! Let's go, let's celebrate that circuit board. Best day of my life. It's the best day of your life so far. Someone pronounced your username right? Hey, I am I am like the the king of pronouncing people's usernames the uh, the appropriate way. <laughs> Waiting for chapter 2025. I'm pretty pumped for chapter 2. Um, I've gotten very used to the slow development and stuff like that, so I'm just I don't I'm not holding my breath, you know. If I need to take a break from scrap mechanic for a bit, I take a little bit of a break from scrap mechanic. But I've missed you guys, so I want to get the streams going again. Ake D says, missed the streams? Yeah, me too. Me too. Free gasoline. The old Twitch streams were so much fun. I did enjoy. Okay, I will say, I really did enjoy the, uh, I enjoyed the streams on, uh, on Twitch, actually. But we're, I'm going to bring the variety to YouTube. We're not only going to be doing Scrap Mechanic live streams. Same, you're being patient. Yep, everyone's patient. That's what we're all, we're little patient people around here. The game has lost a lot of its glow for you. Yeah, that's understandable when development is really slow. Um, it's, uh, it's really hard to, like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I have, like, over 3,500 hours in the game, and for me, like... It's always just been an artistic, creative outlet, you know? So, like, I can't really... Like, if I enjoy painting, well, I don't really necessarily get sick of painting, you know? I just... I hone my craft or something like that, right? So... But the survival is more understandable when it comes to, uh, like, kind of, you know, it's... There's not a lot. They don't add a lot, so it makes sense to kind of lose that spark, so to speak. There's some supplies in the ship. Yeah, I I should be able to find them. Okay, I didn't realize there was a scrap wheel in here before. Interesting. That's like new, is it? So we got to get the battery, but we're not going to use the battery in here, right? We're just going to go straight to the uh, to the mechanic station. We're not going to bother um, putting the battery in here. 
Unless, oh wait, no, I need to for the logbook now, don't I? Oh, that's right, it's been a, it's been a minute, I need the logbook. You thought I stopped recording? Well, I kind of stopped recording, actually, yeah. So, a little bit anyway. Okay, we're gonna load this up here. We're even getting some spuds, look at that. Is that me? Is that me right there? I think that might be me. I'll save that for later. A mug? Wait, what am I doing? I am not... Okay, did I... Okay, I'm not grabbing plants. We don't need the plants. We're not grabbing those. Oh man, you missed me? I miss you guys too. Yeah, I do need the battery because of the logbook. I forgot all about that, actually. The logbook, they added something to survival. Nice face cam. Yeah, look at this. It's me. Here, but here. What the heck? Am I seeing four moonbows right now? Okay. It's been a while. I'm actually picking up soil bags. You play this game enough that eventually soil bags literally aren't even worth the dirt that's in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Get the bathtub? Wait, is there a bathtub in here? Yo, Malahat, you gotta stop that spamarino, man, or else you're just gonna get bannerinoed. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I can't take that bathtub. Well, I can't do that. How did you do the face cam thing? Uh, my girlfriend spent many hours setting this up. She did an amazing job. The tile editor needs some love? Oh man, don't even... The tile editor is like a love-hate relationship for me. I used to I used to have a series on my channel, Tile Editor Tuesdays or something like that. Whatever alliteration you want to throw in there. You just joined since when are you a VTuber? Um, I am a scrap tuber, actually. That's the appropriate terminology. <laughs> No, I, I was saying earlier in the stream that I will be, um, I'll be doing normal face cam as well. Like, combination of both. Maybe when I play Scrap Mechanic, we'll have this and... Because I want to bring variety. Face reveal. Uh, you can go through my channel and find my face m more than you need to see it. <laughs> Get married already? I know. A person you're putting the pressure on. Man, this is supposed to be a fun video game stream and not a real life stream. <laughs> The bathtubs are in the shacks by the wheat fields. I'm not, I don't, I don't think we're going to be too uh, hard up for a bathtub. It's about drive. It's about power. No need to apologize. Yo, Moon Boyo! It's so good to see you. How have you been? By the way, look at that Smexy Golden Star badge. Woo! Woo! <laughs> bathtub is essential? Okay, I stand corrected. We will work on bathtubs for this mobile base. We'll get a bathtub going. I mean, if this was like a hardcore survival game, it would definitely be like, Hey, your clothes are dirty. It's time to wash your clothes. Oh, you haven't taken a shower in two days. Looks like you're starting to take some damage. <laughs> I guess I should be picking up seeds, shouldn't I? What about a top 10 traps video? Do you mean like, um... Whoops. You mean like for far like for the bots? I've been doing pretty good, Boom Boy. I've been doing pretty good. I'm so happy to be back to streaming, honestly. Especially on YouTube. I, this truly is my home. When is the huge update coming out? I don't know, actually. I don't think... I don't even think the developers actually know. <laughs> but that's fine. That, that bot whipped me. Scrapman did that already? So what are you saying? Should I stop? Should we cancel the stream? Should we cancel the mobile survival base because Scrapman did it already? We're gonna refine these legs. Yo, Sumed, what's going on? Good to see you. Why don't I make videos that much? Um, okay, so I have been extremely passionate about learning game development in C Sharp. Um, with Unity, I use, I've been using Unity. Uh, and I've been learning game development, so that's kind of where my, uh, a lot of my attention and passion has been going into, was the, um, 
was that whole learning process. It was uh, very fulfilling. I've done it. I did it for the last year. Well, I mean, six to seven months of the last year. Don't listen to the haters. Wait, who's hating? You need a better... Yeah, you need a pretty good computer for uh, Scrap Mechanic. You definitely do. Thanks, Ake. <laughs> You wish I could pick up the big chest? I've seen people do videos on creating machines and stuff that can actually... Because these are loose objects, technically. They are loose. Um, wait, hold on. Do we have... We, okay, we don't have any blocks, but that's something we might be able to do a little test on. Flipping one of those bad boys. Scrapman and co-op? Or Moombo and Scrapman co-op? <laughs> How long am I going to be streaming today? Um, I don't know. We just started, so... Kind of too early to call the shots there. I guess I'm just going to pick everything up since it's just like the beginning anyway. A little bit of frame drops, but I think that's just the standard experience here. You want to see some of the streaming of the development? Well, I was thinking more so of actually um, doing videos on the game development. I think... Um, I think that would be better suited, uh, mainly because, like, I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I'd hardly even call myself, like, an amateur, you know, like, I'm, I'm really inexperienced when it comes to that stuff, so I don't feel 100% comfortable, um, you know, doing it live, but if I can kind of curate the experience a little bit, and, you know, kind of make myself look like I'm not a total noob, then it's not so bad. There's only one loose big chest? I thought they were all loose. Worst case, drop things? Exactly. You got that right. So do I even need... I guess I need the logbook, right? We'll do it. Oh, is this new? I haven't. I don't remember seeing it floating around like that, but... Nice. Okay, we got the logbook. Let's press L. Or R twice to do a barrel roll. We're going to the mechanic station, guys. We're going to take a trip down memory lane. Okay, wait. There's more stuff over here. Almost forgot. Six haybots? That's a lot of haybots. You got to run away from six haybots. The seeds. I got some of the seeds. Hey, oh, we got some scrap metal, actually. We could have done that. That's all right. Okay, so let's see. What do we want out of this? I'll take a pipe. I guess we'll take the seeds. And we do want all of these small pipes, because technically these small pipes, each one of them is one... It's like a metal block, right? Or a, like a... Oh. How did you... How far away did you see me from? Wow, he's got... Eagle eyes. <laughs> There's the catalog of emotes. <laughs> if Scrap Mechanic Worlds tracked time, the speedrun would become a thing? Yeah, I mean, I think you really, at the end of the day, I mean, if you ever look at, like, speedrunning kind of stuff, like, they're, people just make up categories, you know? Like, they, they make up almost any category. Uh... When they start running out of, like, what to speedrun, or maybe a certain speedrun is a little too difficult or something, then it's like, okay, you know what? New category. This time I skip all the stuff I hate. <laughs> do I have Blender? I do. I actually, I downloaded it not too long ago. I, uh, I definitely didn't use it yet. <laughs> I haven't touched it. Yeah, those Haybots. Next level. You know what? This stuff is just pure scrap. Let's break that crap. Now these... Okay, I'm already... I already have no space. So we're going to forget about all the niceties. We're just going to finish grabbing whatever blocks we can fit in here. And we can pick up the soil. Hey, wait, how is there already one planted here? What? Suspension mug behind the logbook. Okay, I think 15... Okay, look at that. 15 soil, that is plenty. That is 
Absolutely plenty. All right, let's start our journey. Is it too dark? The game's not too dark. Haven't played scrap mechanic much. Want to get back into it? I that's how I feel. That that's exactly how I feel actually. I mean, I haven't played scrap mechanic like consistently in a while, let alone survival. I kind of really lost inspiration um, with my original survival world. You beat it by getting to the top of the warehouse. Interesting. I might have to look into that. How goes Bullet Dynasty? Okay, so Bullet Dynasty was a huge learning experience for me. Um, and one of the number one game dev tips you'll ever, like, read online is, like, never... If you're new, don't start with, like, a big dream project, you know? And that's kind of what I did. And I, that was the first game I started making, right? So... Can we even change the brightness? Well, that's a little bit better. Um, nope, there is no mods on this uh, playthrough. I'm gonna die already. Oh no. Oh, we did it. Okay, what do I not want? I don't want those. I hate those. We don't need those. We will take our scrap metal, though. Sixty-four. I think it depends on bits or something. Speed run for a level five thruster. There's a bit of a speed run. There's all sorts of different ideas. Finally, I meet you. Never end. It's nice to meet you as well. And remember, don't worry, there will be real face cam in the future. Um, I don't have a green screen right now. Uh, but for Scrap Mechanic, it's definitely going to be this amazing mechanic face. You almost cried. No, you cried. We all cried a little bit when Scrap Man went to space. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be different, though. You never played Scrap Mechanic, but you watched Scrap Man and me to, on how to play? Well, then that means when you do get Scrap Mechanic, you will be one of the best. Let's tango, bro. Let's tango. Come on now. Take a step. Make a move. Maybe this is your real face. Maybe it is. You gotta go. All right, person. Thanks for dropping in, eh? It's good seeing you again. I'll see you in the next one. Real Moonbow versus Scrap Mechanic Moonbow boxing match. I like to think I would win. Did I get this idea from Scrap Man? No, I did not. But he did a pretty good job on his um, survival run with the mobile base. Mayumi, uh, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Uh, it's good to be back. All right, see you later, BJ. All right, we got to get to the... Oh, the, the mechanic shop. The mechanic is pretty strong. Yeah, that's true. Wooden, uh, what's going on? Okay, how do I get up? It's been a little while. Been a little while. Do I even want to go up? Is there e is it even worth going up in here? It really isn't. It's not worth it. There is no point in going up there. Because this is basically just like any other uh, ruined building, right? So it's not like there's anything special up there. How much have you played Scrap Mechanic? I have uh, 3,500 hours in the game, so... What's my goal for this series? Good question. Um, the goal really, like, so one thing Scrap Man did was he kind of set himself up certain rules and stuff to kind of maintain a certain amount of, like, integrity when it comes to the mobile base and stuff like that. Now, for me, I'm not too worried about um, all that stuff, you know? Sumed, I said hello to you earlier, man. You can't spam hello. 
Uh, so there's, I mean, at the end of the day, the goal is to, it's, it's to bring, like, all of your supplies with you. If I move my vehicle, then I can continue all of my processes no matter what. Yeah, it's very similar to a Nomad series. I mean, it's a mobile base, you know? It's, I mean, that's pretty much what Scrapman did. All right, we're just going to ignore that guy. Where is he? So, oh man, it's it's actually a lot of fun making a new survival world because you don't know, like, what the tile seed is going to look like. Yo, Lance, what's going on? And Xander, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome. Build a jet ski on your mobile base. Well, so the mobile base will definitely have, um, like, peripheral or, like, What's the word I'm looking for? Like, extra components that can be removed from it to use for smaller sources, you know? You're heading out? Alright, Alvin, thanks for dropping in. It was good seeing you. And Melon Green, what up? Does the game have an end? No. Does it even have a beginning? You will repeat yourself until Moonbow sees. Well, now it's time to stop repeating yourself. Devin, what's going on? How is it to be back in the component kit grind? Well, let's take a look here. We've got eight. So it feels good. <laughs> Have you seen the survival debug island? No. Hey, Silo Tano, good to see you. Welcome back. You like the face cam? This is this is my real face. Did you know that? You're also here, Turtle. Good to see you. Everyone's dropping in. All right, Ryan, see you. Can I build a scout bike? Uh, probably not a bike, but, I mean, we'll do something. Loving the stream so far? Right on. Alright, we're gonna turn on some actual music here, because this is... Awkwardly silent. Music down. Bring the music player up. You're grinding for some beeswax. Okay, hold on here. I just don't want the music to be too loud. So you guys let me know in the chat there how the music levels are and all that good stuff. And if my voice is coming through. Hope to catch the next one. Yo, Civil, thank you for dropping in. Yes, there will be more live streams. You know it to be true. We're back, baby. We're back. Very silent. Yo, Lego, good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of all of you in the chat, actually. <laughs> Requires power. Do I remember this properly? Hear me loud and clear? <laughs> Roger that. FBI, open up! What are you doing in here? The music is a little too silent? You guys let me know. There's a free component kit right there. Will you build a party room in the base? I might have to now that you've said it. <laughs> okay, I think... I think we've got tomatoes, right? I think we have some tomatoes. You don't even hear the music. Holy mackerel. Well, hold on then. Wait. Is that better? Let me know if that's better. Happy New Year, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. I re remember someone made a mod. I can't remember who it was. Someone made a mod that flattened this back down, because this is supposed to be like a broken one. And someone made a mod for survival that turned it into this one. <laughs> You've never seen the Scrap Mechanic VTuber? I know, right? Isn't it? Uh, it's pretty amazing. Yo, Corbett, uh, thank you so much for dropping in. I hope your day is going good as well. Thank you so much for being here. Music's good. Voice is good. Everything is good, baby. Um, okay, I have the battery. 
here uh, we go. Music volume slowly increases. Was it Fant that made that mod? NRA, I did have a good new year. Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. What a useful mod. I know, right? The one mod just to flatten this thing down. I mean, it is... It's a weird decision, I think. If they made it so that you could repair it or something, but, I mean, I think there's a lot of things to come down the line here. Um, okay, let's eat this. Let's look at this. So we're gonna we're gonna start conceptualizing. Well, that's not true actually. We're not gonna start conceptualizing a mobile base yet. Just a warper. Thank you so much for the kind words. You saw it on Reddit. Fan fix the floor. You like the music? Yeah, Purple Kit. This is um, the Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack. If anyone is curious as to um, the music, what we're listening to at the moment, it's a great, great um, OST from uh, the game Streets of Rage 4. There we go. Meme games. What's up, my dudes? What's up with you? You're back, Ryan. Welcome back. Good to have you back. Have they updated the game recently? No. I'm just feeling inspired. Just get the crap bot level 1 stuff. Yeah, we need to get our essentials before we ever, like, consider, you know, calling it an actual mobile base here. But like I was saying, so Scrapman kind of had some defined rules as to, like, what he was, um, you know, allowed to do and not allowed to do. Um, but we're not gonna worry too much about that kind of stuff. Is there music in game? Caleb, there is music in game, but you know, normally a game would have an option where you can like alter the music's frequency, like, or not, like not the frequency wave, but how often songs would play. But Scrap Mechanic doesn't have that. Oh yeah, free wheel. Take it. Uh, Scrap Mechanic doesn't have that option. Drive the wheelbarrow? Wait, you can't do that, can you? Put a seat on it. Is this something? No, that is a uh, garbage. So how do I want to do this? I mean, let's just think logically here. I have two scrap wheels and one good one. Now, a lot of people said uh, before, like, hey, whoa, you don't need four wheels. You only need three wheels to make a tricycle. And then you have a vehicle ready to go. And you know what? All I can say is you're not wrong. <laughs> Inspiring you to play again? Right on. Whoa. Moonboyo. With the 32 months. How cool is this? You, I haven't streamed on YouTube in so long. They're actually doing things that are like cool. Like the resub or the remembership or whatever you want to call it compared to like Twitch, you know? Uh, but thank you so much for the 32 months. Get it, gotta get back to work. This is also new members get a free thingy. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, you mean just like the uh, alert? Well, I mean, it's I don't think it's free. <laughs> but thank you so much for the 32 months at the Space Station Admiral level. Much appreciated. Your continued support. It's unreal. A Reliant Robin. <laughs> I think we'll just use some scrap metal to start, right? We're not... We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> Find the good wheels in the scrap towns. Use a sun shake as a wheel? No way. Wait, how do you... Oh my god, can you do that? You could! Maybe. Maybe not. We're not gonna do that, though. <laughs> I should get Komodo to play with me again. Hey, Frokachu, what is going on, my good sir? The fa I know, isn't this amazing? She did such a good job. I am blown away by how amazing she is. <laughs> am I streaming on Twitch right now as well? No, I'm not. I'm looking happy and healthy. <laughs> so, I guess I need a chair too. This is gonna be a horrible experience here. Wait, what do we need? Let me... I haven't done this in a while, guys. Bear with me. I know, Corbett. It's nuts. It's nuts. 
And I owe my... There's some long-term members uh, that have stayed as members on the channel. Oh. For so long, through the thick and the thin, whether I'm uploading or not. And... Um, and I don't think I don't I hope that any member who's listening right now knows that I don't like I noticed that, you know, that's not like a mystery. Look at this, we're our we just showed up here and we're building the craft bot. Oh, I didn't knock me out. <laughs> an engine? Yeah, we will need an engine. I just don't want uh, I shouldn't have even wasted my time on the scrap wheels, to be honest with you. Now that we have, um... Now that we have an actual one here. Because, let's see. A gas engine, crude oil, three component kits, and some metal one. Wait, so I need a chest. We need to... Don't you need a chest or something? It's been a while. <laughs> this is not the speedrun. I know, right? Rewatch my own video on how to get stuff quickly. Actually, we're doing really good though. 40 minutes in and we have a craft bot. I'm pretty happy with that. How do I see how long I've supported? You should just be able to mouse over your um, badge, Lego. If you just mouse over your badge in chat, I do believe it should just show it there. Um, if not, you might be able to go to the members page. I don't know. <laughs> I would see you later. Don't use chests? What? No, what kind of challenge is that? The no chest challenge. That sounds terrible. Yeah, so this is some component kits, some glue and stuff. I really don't feel like scrapping it up right now. I don't want scrap crap. You know what I'm saying? Are there any plans on how I'm going to build the vehicle? Not necessarily, no. I think at this point right now, we are going to have to just, um... Kind of make it work here until we have enough resources to appropriately um, kind of put something together. Okay, we got a lot. This always reminds me of a macaroni elbow, that little one. <laughs> that vid was like 10 minutes. Oh, you're on mobile. Oh, yeah, that's not. I don't know about that then. <laughs> no self promotion, Blaze. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. Okay, we don't really need the gas at the moment, so we'll just pop that up there as well. And we're just going to do all of our seeds here. Oh, and we have to get rid of our soil bags here. We'll just pop them here for now. Oh, man, I missed this game. It's been a while. I'm having fun. Hope you, hopefully you guys are having fun, too. A no wheels challenge, especially for a mobile base. I mean, imagine making a mobile walker base or something, right? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, wait, we need a connection tool. Holy... Hold the phone. Almost forgot about that. Boiny, what's going on? And Yo, Fant, Happy New Year to you as well. Good to see ya. A scrap mechanic mod for Arma 3. That sounds like it'd be a waste of time. <laughs> Yo, Kiwi, good to see you. Welcome back. No suspension challenge? Well, that wouldn't be that hard. Okay, let's see here. This is our food. Let's grab our connection tool. So, connection tool, hammers here. Paint and weld. There's none of those there. We need a paint tool. Oh, man. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> I can't believe it. You tried to make a mobile base walk, but it was too heavy? Yeah, I don't see it as a very realistic thing. Alright, I'm just gonna put my self-portrait up here somewhere. There we go, there's my self-portrait right there. <laughs> Will there be armor at some point? Oh, you mean for what you can wear as a, hu as a, as a player? Yeah. Yo, Dylan, thank you for the compliment on the VTuber avatar. Um, so this is the actual model from the game. Like, this model that you see here is the model that you see that I'm talking out of. Uh, but my girlfriend, Jado, spent a decent amount of time 
working on the avatar and having it set up for the, uh, you know, this whole interactive thing. Uh, so really, really impressive. <laughs> Piston suspension challenge? A no base challenge? I mean, honestly, you can easily do that. That would not be that hard. Uh, because you can go around to the ruins and and break chests and stuff and get food endlessly or you can just get um milk from the walks as well so oh man this is going to be a process to get back into it but we're gonna do it together guys together she's very talented i know don't have to tell me twice use sensors for turning what am I using for face tracking? Uh, the application is called VC Face. Um, it's for v like VR chat and all that stuff. So, as far as I am aware, anyway. Am I going for gas-powered vehicle to start or controller? That's a good question. I haven't gotten that far yet. So let's get rid of the wheels here. We're going to stack all of our scrap wheels together. And then we'll just put our one good one there. So we have four wheels. Um, so that is a microwave. Okay. <laughs> We grabbed a little bit of everything on the way out, you know? So we can... Um, you know what? Why not get... Oh wait, we need water. Holy man, I haven't played this game in so long. Is that water there? Oh, okay, we're pretty lucky. We got some water right next to the uh, mechanic shop. Your girlfriend is talented, wouldn't even know where to start. I know. She, I mean, she did a lot of research. It's like she had to research how to do it, right? It wasn't like she just knew, so she spent the time learning how to do it, and she's a professional, like, artist, right? So she, uh, she had the benefit in that sense. Yeah, I know the microwave can be used as storage, but it only has one spot, doesn't it? There's only one hole. I, I got rid of all the seeds. We, we're gonna want some food when we come back. We're definitely gonna want some food. So we came from this direction. Uh-oh, wait. Yeah, okay, we came from this direction over here, right? No, this is gonna be a series. We're gonna be streaming regularly here on the channel. Teach me your secrets. <laughs> I mean, the big thing I think is having a model, right? Having a 3D model is like obviously number one. Whoa, whoa, hey, ho, what the, get out of here. Going on fluff butt. <laughs> you gotta go, guys. All right, see you later. Well, they just brought me some scrap metal. I'm not gonna complain about that. Microwave some scrap metal in real life. Hold on now, don't say that. <laughs> don't microwave metal. All right, we're gonna do tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. Wait, how? Is there a way to split these? Yeah, there it is. Rigging the face for the app? Uh, well, it's all about blend shapes, actually. So if you do some research on blend shapes, um, you'll, you'll get a better idea of how this is done. I think we should be okay um, with five, right? We're not gonna get raided here, are we? Okay, well that was just... We're gonna go with the speed the speed route here. Can we do this still? Is this still a thing? You can't really do it anymore, can you? You used to be able to like really speed throw water. Jump over them? You can jump over their attacks? No way. I should be fine, yeah? That's all watered, right? One for us, too. There we go. A little drinky poo. Oh, there we go. Ten? Is it ten without a raid? Okay, five is a raid. And lots of misinformation. You prefer the webcam? Oh, I don't blame you. But I, I just think this is just too cool. Being 
the 34 year old that I am, it's like I get to be a kid. Farming sim, what's going on? The actual farming sim game is here. <laughs> You can, but you have to under be underwater. I was just a little underwater, but I don't know. I'll have to try to jump over some of those attacks. Okay, so we've got... We've got some stuff growing. We've got tomatoes growing. Uh, let's eat a tomato while we're talking about these tomatoes. Unauthorized farming detected. Don't say that. I'm not ready for that. Okay, so this goes to three. My food goes here. I'm just getting my bearings again. Get it? I'm getting my... Bearings again. <laughs> but see, the, the beauty of not having a webcam and having a, a VTuber avatar like this is I can look like a pile of crap. <laughs> I need to be deeper in. Oh, good to know, Spastic. Good to see you, by the way, Spastic. I think uh, I built my uh, house um, in the uh, Scrap Community Village the next to yours, didn't I? If I'm remembering that correctly. Holy crap, Moombo is a VTuber now. <laughs> What's going on, Michelangelo? Michelangelo, Angelo, sorry. I almost said that wrong. Well, I did say it wrong. So I don't have a pain tool and I don't have a weld tool. I want those. Um, let's put some stuff in this locker, actually. Yeah, use the lift. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. All right, we're just gonna put in some, okay, well, we don't have a spud gun, so actually, no, those would be better served up on uh, the tabletop. Um, so circuit boards we can keep in our pocket. We'll keep some of those as well. The light, we will actually, we can just easily, um, maybe we'll just put, put the light Whoops. Here. Like that, kind of pointing down at our locker. Turn the intensity up as well. There should be a way to drink from buckets. Marriage stream? Okay, that sounds cringy. Hey guys, we're gonna get married on YouTube. I mean, maybe with the pandemic going on, it's not a bad idea, actually, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna throw stuff around, because we're gonna go on a trip. We're gonna go on a journey into the wilderness. Okay, you know what? This is where we're gonna put our spuds. We're putting our potatoes in the microwave. Great live vid. Thanks, Lewis. How did you do it with your scrap mechanic character? Are you talking about this VTuber thing? Um, you just, you, you, there's the model. You can access the model, um, in the scrap mechanic folders. And, um, and then you have to do blend shapes, and it's 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 pretty involved, actually. Okay, we're gonna put the radio here with our self-portrait. There we go. That's what you did till you got a spud gun. Yeah, we gotta make some baked taters. All right, so we're gonna leave blocks here as well. So the bearing, um, we'll just hang on to that. It doesn't matter. The switch can definitely, you know, I guess I should probably ditch more than not, right? Let's see, we're gonna have blocks here. Bearing, okay, the pipes here, we can just kind of pop those down for now. There's only two of them, not a big deal. So we'll have circuit boards, extra food. Yo, Jay Fred, what's going on? Good to see you. Some fried potatoes. We're going in a trip in our little rocket ship. What file? Well, it's there's multiple files, right? There's the player model, the the uh, all the face types and the head, all the hair types, the facial, the facial hair and all that as well. Okay, so we got stuff. Let's eat a carrot. I think carrots are equal, right? In food and water? Okay, not quite. <laughs> what folder is the model? And you you might have to just go online and you'll find it. I'm I'm not able to just pull that info out of my butt. Spuds never... Yeah, we're, we're gonna forget about those spuds. They're in the microwave, and we're gonna completely forget about them until, like, who knows when, and we're gonna see them again. And be like, oh, that's right! We put potatoes in the microwave. I can't just... I need stuff to make the vehicle. Hold on now. Don't worry. That's why I was saying at the beginning that we're not... We don't have rules. 
like Scrapman did, you know? Scrapman had all sorts of rules on what he was allowed and not allowed to do, but we're not doing that. Oh man, I just went through a chunk. Burnt taters are tasty. I never mess with chemicals. I don't touch chemicals at all, honestly. I don't bother with it. I never use concrete, honestly. So I think one thing that I'm gonna take a book or a page out of Scrapman's playbook with the mobile base is whoa, is that a new animation on the attack? That swiping animation didn't used to be there. Uh, I'm going to make it out of wood. I think wood is so accessible. There's trees everywhere. It's so easy to do. Oh, I need the beeswax. You're right. We got to be looking for the bees. Shooting microwave potatoes at the haybots. Imagine, oh man. So imagine if you could take, okay, I don't have any spuds in my inventory, but imagine if you could take spuds, cook them into baked potatoes, and then they do double damage. And then you have baked potatoes as ammo instead of normal potatoes, and they double your damage. Yeah, don't use scrap wood. Trust me, I won't be using scrap wood. You made it spawn you in with a spud gun and ammo? You must have been changing your, uh, your files or something like that. And wood is light? Exactly. It's light. We'll make some wood three, I think. So that's one thing that we're going to be doing very similar to uh, to Scrapman's uh, playthrough as a mobile base. Is definitely... Oh man, we're getting component kits. It's definitely wood. Yeah, well I mean we're going to start with wood one and we'll slowly upgrade it and work our way up to wood three. This is a stream series, right? So we're going to be here... We got hours, you know? We got all sorts of time. Do I even care about the top ones right now? I kinda do. I kinda do. Well, I need enough to get up there, I think. Use them as grenades? Oh my god, I almost, I almost limped that jump. <laughs> what are, what, you, what? Are you talking about how old I am? It's gonna be like a snake shedding scale slowly up. Exactly, that's a really good way to like visualize it. It's just gonna, we're gonna slowly replace the wood one with wood three basically. Well, I mean, it's gonna get bigger and bigger as well. So we'll be balancing both of those things probably. Nomad is love, nomad is life. On the road again. That's where I want to be, is on the road again. Just a seat and carry it with you? Oh yeah, you know what, that's a good call. That's probably what I should be doing. I think 15 soil is enough for now. Well, yeah, 15 is enough for now. I'm not going to burden myself with soil. Um, I don't have a lot of resources, so we're gonna, we're gonna clean up our mess here a little bit. Better hammers and stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know what the mechanics age is. <laughs> Anything in here? Nope, okay. So I guess I'll just do this ruin here, and I guess we can just start chopping some trees down. Oh, no, no, beeswax, beeswax. Oh, man, I gotta get my head back into this scrap mechanic. Don't throw out random items. Well, no, you can throw them out. So if I throw something out like this, what's something I don't really, well, I mean, I'll pick it up. If I throw that out like that, the game will eventually delete this. Like, this item here will eventually disappear. Uh, now, alternatively, if I were to build like this, this will stay here indefinitely. Uh, so just a, it's just something to note, right? If you throw something out like this, the game will delete it eventually. Uh, but if not, then it will stay there indefinitely. 
No, I'm gonna have separate vehicles. I wanna have deployable vehicles. Um... You know, how, like, how many varieties, I don't know yet. You know, I, I don't know. But we'll get there. On top of this rock is a chest. I don't think it's really worth... I just don't care about a chest. <laughs> There's a lot of chests everywhere. Nice face you got there. <laughs> um, I guess, okay, we can actually... I'll grab some of this corn here now that we're, like, seeing some. This will respawn anyway, but... It's good to just get a little bit of that milk because it's free, um, it's free real estate. Oh, that's right. I need oil, petroleum as well. It takes 15 minutes for it to despawn. Uh, I don't even know if it's timer based. I think it's chunk. Is it timer based or is it chunk reloaded? Oh my goodness. Look at this. We've got cotton. There is cotton right outside of the mechanic shop. Woo! Why are those bees so small? Wait, what? What kind of... How big are the bees in your town? Have the base be amphibious? Cam, it's a great idea. I like it. Because I'm going... I don't want it to be too big. The whole idea of this base is not to go as big as you can, you know? It's about functionality. Um, it's about... Ergonomics. What other words can I throw out there? Lucky tiles? I know, right? We got water. Water is right next to the mechanic shop. There is beeswax right next to the mechanic shop. There is cotton right next to the mechanic shop. Unbelievable. There will be face cam as well. Yeah, it's going to be a balance of both. Well, not necessarily a balance of both. It depends on what I feel like doing. You know, if I feel like, oh no, oh no, please no, no, oh no. the gas prices. Well, I think we might have to go with controller car, right? Go away! Go away! The bees are this size, but to scale. You tried to turn the haybots into mechanics? Oh, come on! Leave me alone, boys! Run, Forrest. No, not first death. Not first death. We are not gonna take the L just yet. Oh, hold on. This is- this merits that. Look, did you see how clean that was? Woo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was worth it. It's a good world seed. I know, I appre- you know what, I commend those Haybots for the chase they just put on, but clearly that ended up being their demise. Did they patch the damage? I'm not sure, actually. I haven't seen anything about that. But we just dodged every single one of their shots. Use the lift. I mean, I could use the lift, or I could use my cunning skills and prowess. Don't take the L. Nope, oh, there's another leg here. I call them legs, but apparently they're spines, but I'm gonna stick with legs. Circling them is a good strat- I know, that was amazing, wasn't it? Like, basically sidestepping their, um... Like, whatever they're using to count- like, whatever shape that they have in front of the Haybot when it's attacking. It seems like it's pretty easy to sidestep it, actually, so... Alright, we're gonna eat some tomatoes. Happy to neutral. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this. Wait, this is the one we ran to, is it? Yeah, okay, this is the one we were just in. I think it was always 30 damage, wasn't it? Legs are just extended spines. Exactly. You get it. The leg is just an extension of the spine. 
So one thing I wish, like, it'd be cool if they could, uh, like, I know you can get refined bots and stuff like that, but being able to upgrade your, like, refined tool to, like, speed up this process would be really cool. Because it's really annoying to have to go through an area like this, and then, essentially, what you're doing is, like, well, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, actually. I'm just ranting at this point, but... Scrap mechanic physics, and they are not good. Will I be playing? I don't know if I'm going to be playing this world in Chapter 2, actually. That's a hard call. It depends on... Well, I mean, probably. It depends on when the update comes out, I guess. Is there a difficulty setting defining how much damage they do? I don't think so. Oh, gee, badness, what's going on? Good to see you. No chemicals. Our first garment box. I've unlocked most of them already in other survival playthroughs, so I don't think we're worried about that one too much. I'm not, anyway. Build machines that build machines. What is going on here? Where is this rock? <laughs> How do I normally get up here? Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. You should make chapter two? Yeah. I should just make chapter two. <laughs> no. Oh, see you later. Oh, I'm coming down with you. Oh, God. Okay, just kill him now. <laughs> well, that was... Oh, wow, another one? Oh, yeah. It's nice when they fall. They don't stand a chance when they're on the ground. In the options menu in the gameplay tab. Oh wow, there is a- what? I was not aware of that. That's new. Wow. Why don't I pick up glow sticks? Um, because I never use them. I never- like there's certain things I never use. Uh, glow sticks are one of them. Chemicals are another one. I don't- I don't mess with concrete. I think, um, this game- the game would be served better if, uh, if there was more... Uh, what's the way I'm- how do I want to work? Okay, we'll get some potatoes. They- they need to have, like, more justification as to all the different materials, you know what I mean? Like, we have so many different blocks to choose from. But, like, aside from durability, like, you know, there's not much variance there. Yo, Prime Guy, it's so good to see you again. Welcome back. Hit him while he's down. We, we, we fight clean around here. Oh, Programmer Alex, we were just talking about that. Making bake spuds to do, like, double damage. And Blue Flame, my good sir. Welcome back. I say good day, sir. <gasps> we just got a banana. Oh, my stream deck isn't plugged in right now. If my stream deck was plugged in right now, we would be ooh banana in that. Moombo became a VTuber? Ah, uh, you know, just uh, every now and then. When I feel like it. Double component kits. That way, you know, I don't have to worry about my face or my beard or anything like that. Well, we're up to six component kits now. Lude Gruss, what is going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. Aesthetics. I've got pretty good luck when it comes to, uh, when it comes to component kits, I've, I've got some good luck. Make glass instead. I just, I don't like chemicals. I hate micromanaging blocks. You know, if I'm making blocks, I'm not micromanaging it to that level. Look, there's another component kit. Temporary VTuber. No, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just something to do for fun, you know, switch it up a little bit. Have you ever gotten the three component kits? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Is that a gold boy? All right, we got our first gold chest. What's gonna be inside? What do we got? Something that slowly spits out component kits? It could be pretty good. 
Oh, we got a saddle. Oh, it's a saddle chair. Well, that's useless. <laughs> that's so useless. Oh, well. We'll hang on to it. And we will use it for something on the mobile base. It will get incorporated somehow. There we go. Gold chests are often disappointing. They can be, right? I, I hear you. The avatar is so cool. Thanks, Alan. So we got a sweet saddle chair. I can't complain about that. We also got a bunch of cotton here. Wait, I think we might want to grab one more cotton to f complete the stack, right? Exactly, Redinator. This, you're seeing, this is the real Moombo. This whole time, I have been a VTuber. You just didn't realize it. And then once I, uh, once I turned the VTuber off, you now get the real deal. Oh, you're right, actually. I can use the saddle seat to climb. There you go. We have an official climbing chair. We're gonna put it right there. Well, no, actually, it would make more sense as, like, a tool in our bag, right? Saddle chairs are the best. Since when was 1.23 not live? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what version I'm in right now. <laughs> 10 for seat, 10 for bed. Is that what it is? Exactly, this is the real face. They, they, this character in Scrap Mechanic, you know, Axelot, they gave me a call and they were like, Hey, Moombo, you're so handsome. Can we put you in the game? And I was like, all right, you know, but people are going to get confused. So that's why I adopted the fake face. <laughs> V2 Scrap Con, what's going on? I've just- I've just finished explaining how this is my real face, actually. And what we've all known before this face... ...was the, uh, the real VTuber. <laughs> oh, there's a chest back here. We might as well grab that. Make it wedge-powered. How's 2022 so far? Not too bad. I'm very happy to be back on the stream game. I'm happy to be back on YouTube. So one thing I was mentioning, I'm going to do more variety streaming on YouTube as well. And not just, um... Not just Scrap Mechanic, you know? I think it's going to be nice to, uh... To get some good variety on the streams. And... Especially because it's like I try and balance what I like to play. I mean, on my channel, clearly on YouTube here, it's pretty much only Scrap Mechanic. But I've always had a hard time straying away from Scrap Mechanic, so I want to change it... Uh, I want to change it up a little bit and get into streaming properly. Like we used to, you know? Gonna have to show you how to set that up. Yo, isn't it cool? I mean, I just think this is amazing. Honestly, it's so cool. Like, this is this guy... From a scrap mechanic. I mean, it, it's me. This is my real face. What are you talking about? <laughs> Opinion of Wedge Gang. I mean, I'm impartial, okay? You can be a part of whatever gang you want. That's all I gotta say. Okay, we're gonna put uh, some component kits in here. We're gonna keep those component kits nice and safe. And we're gonna put these on either side here. Because it just looks right. Love from Bangladesh, Mr. B. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Where am I going to get the wedges? Yeah, there's... So, have you guys been um, in an uproar because there's, like, no wedges in survival? Okay, so this banana... We can't just... You, can, you don't just... Um, you know, you don't just eat a banana. You don't just eat it. There we go. Thanks, Lucky Teapot. Why can't we have these machines in real life? A side by- yeah, look at this. And there it is. Look at that. The, the version in-game is way more tanned. I don't know why. 
All right, so we have to go plant some more tomatoes. How did I only grab seven? Oh, I must have already had some in my inventory. I'm gonna go get some more tomatoes on the go. Yeah, but they're not actual wedges, Ewo. You know, you and I both know that those are not real wedges. Wheel gang. <laughs> You put it on the displays. Exactly, that's what you do with a banana. You put it on display. Alright, so I need to be deeper. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, yeah. One for me. There we go. We're gonna keep that tomato train rolling. All right, Clippy, see you later. You think the chat on your side has a major delay? Uh, it's possible. Empty bucket gang. Yeah, that's the new gang. Wait, are there buckets in creative mode? Because if there are, then it's definitely time we start redefining this whole gang war. A stabilizer banana? You know what, that's it. That's what we'll have. This is the official banana of the mobile base now. And we will stabilize. So... How much beeswax do we have here? Twelve. So we need metal. Metal one. So I can't... I need chests, but I guess we're just gonna have to upgrade this metal here. We can get a couple on the go, I can have a sip of my drink here. Charles, you're saying I can plant nine tier? Okay, I should probably up that game then, right? I should probably up my farming game here a little bit. Yo, Diesel, what's going on, Diesel? Good to see you, man. How you been? It's been a while! Happy New Year, Diesel! Mobile base like Scrapman? No, the name of this game is Mobile Base, not Scrapman. <laughs> Did you see me name this world? Yeah, we banana gang now, boys. Better watch out. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Banana gang is coming round this season. Um, wood one. All right, well, let's go lumberjack it up a little bit, shall we? Scrap mechanic has been renamed to Scrap Man. Have I ever visited his western world? I had never, no, I did not visit it, but I have definitely seen, uh, I remember, I mean, that's old, that's old Scrap Man right there, I'll tell you that much. Mobile base like Nomad Survival? No, it's a mobile base! It's not a Nomad base! It's a mobile base! <laughs> it's a $600 worth banana. <laughs> was that the Back to the Future theme? Um, was it? I thought he did a Western Town in series in general. Like, it was more than just, uh... Like, it wasn't, uh, some specific series like that. I thought it was just, um... Well, look at this. This is, like, two pieces that are gonna turn into one. Look at that. <laughs> steal from the shacks? I mean, I could. I could go steal from the shacks. You're right. Do I have a Team Banana shirt? I don't know. I guess once we get the garment box, or the garment bot, we will have a look. How hyped am I for the next chapter update? I mean, I'm pretty excited for it. Pipe Gang. People have referred to me as the Pipe Gang, and I, I, uh, I, I gave a, a nod to the Pipe Gang in one of our multiplayer Mondays. <laughs> Mr. Sortex. Scrap Mechanic V2. This is so cursed. I know, right? It's fun. 
That's why we're doing it, because it's fun. Yo, Reaper, I'm about to I'm about to drop a hammer on you if you don't stop right now. Oh, the thing I hummed. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just humming along to the music. There's an update. Well, yeah, chapter 2 is supposed to be coming down the line here, hopefully this year. Uh, you know, you know Axelot, they'll never they won't make a release date, but you know. Hopefully this year. The only update I'm looking for is the We Learned How to Code update. Well, I mean, I don't know. I was doing some... I learned a bunch of game dev stuff over the last year. Um, and it's definitely... Uh, it's not easy. You know, there's so many things to consider. Uh, I think it's just more so the way they're approaching um, the development style, I think it doesn't sit well with this kind of game. But like I've said before, and I'll say it again, I have always, always really played creative mode first and foremost, and creative mode doesn't get old to me, so this is all just extensions of creative mode in my mind. I don't play survival games. Yeah, this whole uh, so-called, this entire album that we're listening to is the Streets of Rage 4 um, original soundtrack. The game's been getting better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah, I mean, when, the more you learn coding, of course it gets easier and easier, no doubt about that. Alright, so people, uh, you're all saying we can do nine plots, right? You guys are saying we can do nine. We're gonna do nine. Lewis, you gotta stop spamming. People, in the chat, stop spamming. Can't believe I have to say this so much. Uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> it's good to be back. Ah, oh, well that sucks. Remember when you couldn't pick soil back up? <laughs> I remember. If you put a soil down, that's where it laid. I'm pretty sure I remember that anyway. Was that a thing back in the day? I think it was a thing. It's been really fun. Glad to hear. You still got the Wolf and Raven music? Nice. I actually... Okay, so in the future... So this is going to be something in the future, guys. So I, I need to just retouch base with Wolf and Raven. Now, if you're not familiar, Wolf and Raven's an awesome group a duo. They do 80s-style metal and uh, 80s synth-style music. Uh, and they have been super nice to let me use their music in live streams and stuff like that. Uh, and so they made a new album last year. And they sent me some codes to give away the album. Uh, and I told them, I was like, wow, well, I haven't been streaming, and that's kind of when I really, like, listen to the music and promote that music and all that good stuff. So, I have, like, a bunch of download codes for their new album. Uh, so I'm gonna touch base with them and make sure those codes are still valid, uh, before I start trying to give them away. And then in a future stream, I think in, the, in a future stream we'll be able to, uh, to give away some free albums for the music. Why do people have the blue wrench in the chat? That means they are moderators. So they can ban you. They've got the power. Uh, what am I looking at? Wheels. Three. Yo, Poison Gaming, thanks for that subscription. Welcome. And yo, Mambo! Mambo is in the chat. I didn't want to let her know about the stream because I figured she would see it eventually and then it'd be a little more of like a surprise to have her drop in. So guys, we need some hearts in the chat. My stream deck is not on right now, so I'm going to turn this on manually. There we go, guys. We need some hearts in the chat for Mambo. If you haven't been here before, this is what you do. Almost forgot about the live stream. <laughs> 
I've got the power. So we need a little bit more um, honeycombs, right? Why did I even craft these? Why did I waste my time crafting them? Do you like Saturn? Yeah, Saturn's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Cotton and potatoes are tier 1.5. Good to know. Good to know. Thanks for all the hearts in the chat, guys. So let's see here. Okay, you know what? First things first, I don't need these buckets outside of watering these crops. By 1 million subs, you need to show your face. Um, Marin, you can go on my channel. There's plenty of instances where I uh, have my face shown. You know, this is not a, it's not a new thing. There we go. We can leave those there. I know, Mambo's been wondering where the streams are at. I'm tell- I keep- how do I have to keep repeating this? I have plenty of videos where you can see my face. <laughs> the face reveal has been done hundreds of times. So I kind of want to build a box for all my seeds out by the, uh, the thing there, but we're gonna focus on getting one more wheel. Six honey. We need to find a little more honey, because once we get four wheels, I mean, we're starting to go mobile, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on here. Go to streams from four years ago? Oh, I know, I'm trying to- is there a mod in the chat? Is there a- is there a way to time people out? Yes, light boy, the stream will be available in the future, yep. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Jess, I need to add you as a moderator here. RTX on versus RTX off. Yeah, this is, um... This is the RTX on, right? <laughs> Ah, are they gone? There we go. My god. You know, I am... One thing I, I've talked to Jado about uh, is the fact that, like, I really don't want to have to deal with annoying chatters. So, if, uh, if you're going to be an annoying chatter, then you will suffer the consequences. My favorite one um, is Akira. I haven't listened to much of the, uh... Alright, Jess, I'll add you as a moderator after the stream. I can't. It's been a while since I've done it. We'll get there, though. We'll get there one step at a time. I'm on the hunt for just a little bit more honeycombs. And then, once we get that, we'll have four wheels and we'll be in business. Do I already have a, a strategy for the mobile playthrough? Um, I have a bit of an idea. Yes, I do. Yeah, Reapert is either gone, timed out. I'm not sure what the moderators did, but they were not. Like, it's so, like, if you're not contributing to the chat in a healthy way, like, you know, if you're just spamming random numbers and letters, I'm just going to ban you. I'm not even going to, like, try and, I'm not even going to try and reason with you. Where are all the walks at, anyway? What happened to the walks? I haven't seen one. He's yeeted out of orbit, exactly. <laughs> Whoa, okay, speak of the walk. So one thing I like to do is just feed one walk all the corn. Because then I don't have to worry about having wasted corn, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to waste your corn. We're just going to get a bunch of free milk here. While we look for some honey. Yeah, timed out for now. We'll do the timeout thing. We'll see, you know, see what it's up with that. Why are all these walks attracted to this big rock? 
The walk. This is the walk rock. <laughs> We're back to Ruthless Moombo. <laughs> and it's good to see you all again as well, I'm telling you. And like I said, guys, don't worry. It's not only ever going to be VTuber. You'll get the real deal Moombo as well. Hey, I did not say you could eat some of that. I only wanted one of them. The walks are scared of the Banhammer? Yeah, that's, that's what we're holding on to right now is the Banhammer. Yo, Electric X, what's going on? Good to see ya! Welcome back. Alright, look at all that milk that we just got. Beauty. They don't want their milk stolen. The bun on the veggie burger is just a potato? Is it really? I'll have to take a closer look at that. Alright, I think we've got our honeycombs. We can do a fourth wheel. What's inside the walk rock? I don't know. But they want to find out. When will the mobile base be started? I mean, have you ever played a survival playthrough? It doesn't just happen in the blink of an eye. Yo, Astrius, As Astorius, sorry. From Italy, right on. The walks are rocks. Well, they just they're a rock fan. What can you say, right? Maybe there's nothing in the rock. Maybe they're just fans of the rock. So we're just gonna start with small wheels, I guess. And we'll upgrade them eventually. Because this is gonna be mobile. We're gonna be moving with this bad boy. Wait, I need a controller too. We need a controller, and then we should be good to go. Right? Survival is 90% grinding? It is. So that's why you can't be surprised if I'm not building literally an entire mobile base. No worries, Nate. Yeah, four fresh small wheels. What a great feeling, right? Alright, so we're gonna have to go, um, we're gonna go, uh, diving for some clams. So let's just get a little bit of that metal going. What's an upgrade looking like? You know what? I think we're okay to upgrade so we can, um, wait, what? No, it did the thing! I did the thing! Oh my god. Okay, they need to change. They need to make it so you can cancel this crap. I just made two connection tools, and I can't cancel them. They need to add the cancel option. Because I just wasted some resources on that. And I was just trying to press the button to... It's like, once you upgrade, you can't just press the button to add more. Yeah, that's true. There is no bread. Oh, I've definitely seen the walk-shaped rock before. That rock formation? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I always have to skip this song because it's like... It's like too much anxiety for me. <laughs> so I did see a, um, okay, so we're not gonna be able to build anything just yet. Oh my god, I can't believe I accidentally made connection tools, man. Rookie mistake. Now you can connect twice. <laughs> they should make it save when you, yeah, there's a few things that are, like, there's a few issues with the craft bot. When it comes to the logic behind how it works and stuff like that, they need, they need some... They need to do a little bit of bug fixing on the... On a few of those things. Well, not bug fixing, but they just need to make it more of a robust system. Because right now, it's a little finicky. When am I gonna make a car? Well, we're on our way. I need to go get some glue. So we're gonna go swimming. Have I ever talked to one of the devs? Uh, very briefly, only once, really. When Survival first came out, I was in contact with the de devs. Um, uh, I had some issues with my Survival... Uh, my Survival version, or what, or not even version, but my computer was having a, a rough go with the Survival for some reason, so I was just troubleshooting with the devs on, on some of the problems that they did eventually get fixed. Because I wasn't the only one having those problems either, actually. There was a few other people. 
who are experiencing um, some issues in survival. Oh man, I, okay, don't forget to breathe. Am I right, guys, or am I right? How am I gonna fit a refinery? Well, we're just gonna, we're gonna make, oh my god, did Repert just say an actual sentence? <laughs> Nils, what's going on? Yes, it's a new world. The craft bot's burning the whole bit out. Is there a way to place your tools down somewhere? Um, I don't know about the tools, but you can definitely do it with, like, non-buildable objects. Oh my god, imagine, yeah. Uh, there's been, people have talked about, like, what would it be like if, uh, if connection tools required batteries or something, but that's kind of micromanagey a little bit there, I would say. A way to forcefully send items through pipes, not just when machines need them. Oh, so you mean like a transfer system or something, right? I mean, the mechanics, yeah, they can hold their breath pretty good. All right, we're definitely going to want to grab crude oil while we're out here, too. I mean, we're pretty fortunate to have all this water here. I think it goes right out to the full-on ocean. Look at this beautiful little uh, harbor. That's really nice. I'm st actually spastic. I'm standing right now. I'm using my standing desk at the moment, so we're standing. I've got my drink here. I got a nice glass of iced tea. We're at an hour and a half in. No biggie, you know. It's just a walk in the park. So, I don't know when I should stream next. I guess just tomorrow, right? Are you guys down for more streaming? Hey, this glow bug is really not where I thought I would see a glow bug. <laughs> Yo, Vigo, what's going on? Don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, I got my iced tea. Best drink in town. How did I start YouTube? Um, by uploading some videos. All right. See you later, Blackbird. How does the face tracking work? Um, it's VC face. It's a program that, uh... It's a program that tracks the face. <laughs> That's, it's magic, you know? It's just magical stuff. You're down whenever I'm down. We're going downtown. Can we eat a carrot underwater? The answer is yes. <laughs> Oh, you need a little refill? Yeah, go get your snackies, go get your drinks, your soda pops. I think this is enough here, right? I think we're pretty loaded up. Never forget the days when you would only get one clam and one crude oil from the water stuff. Never forget. Do you ever, do you think public, do you think Scrap Mechanic will ever have public servers? I mean, maybe in like, uh, 10 years or so. Yeah, iced tea is like my favorite. Carl, what have you missed? Um, not much. We're still setting up. I hope people need to understand that this is not gonna be a speed run. Carrot with added hydration, right? That's how it should be anyway. I, I, I deserve that water. No, it's salt water, actually. The Industrial Revolution in Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> so the glue clams need to be turned into glue first, right? So we're going to do that. There we go. We're just going to let those run. Now it's time to have a sip of water. Vibe into the music. What type of iced tea is it? It's just a powdered mix, you know? I always get the powdered mix of iced tea. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish you could use the vacuum pumps for a lot of things, honestly. I think they made it so you can pick up loose objects with them, though, right?
Yeah, I, uh, YouTube streaming, I mean, they've, they've made some pretty good progress over the last couple years. Uh, Blue Flame, so people were saying that the primary speedrunning, uh, initiative, I could say, is to, uh, get to the top of a warehouse. So, I guess that's either by going through the warehouse and fighting everything, or, you know, going up through the floors, or maybe it would involve going up the side as well? I don't know. Yo, Bunjo Blocks! Yeah, this is the, uh, is the, uh, avatar of my scrap mechanic guy. How cool is that, right? Futures now, baby. Alright, we're just gonna down those tomatoes. So we got four wheels. We said we're gonna do wood. Okay, so let's just take a trip down the road here. I do believe there are some, uh... There was a little... I don't know, market? Whatever you want to call it over there. Iced coffee. Well, I'm drinking iced tea right now, but we've, we've, ever since winter came along, we've been moved off of the uh, iced coffees, but I still kind of crave one every now and then, so I might have to switch it up. Make a ship of some sort? I don't know. See, so that's one of the things I was going to talk about, actually, is, uh, you know... I, it's hard to stay super motivated in Scrap Mechanic when it comes to certain things like making a car and planes and boats and stuff like that, you know, like it's... I can only make planes and cars and boats for so long, you know? Scrap Mechanic in VR? <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, <laughs> don't know about that. So we're just here now, um, for the wood. That's why we're here, in case you're wondering. That- I wish this was a real mattress you could sleep in or something. How far am I expecting to get those? Um, what do you mean, like right now? At this moment? I'm not too sure. The Steam Deck? Um... I don't really have much of an opinion on that, to be honest, because I don't really have much info or knowledge on... On all that it entails necessarily but I mean it's just a mobile you know it's a mobile uh, gaming device right remember the space station I do yeah so free lights are free lights you always take your free lights in this game and okay a fresh sign you gotta get one fresh sign right free pipes too Now, this doesn't hammer, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, we're just grabbing all this free wood, though, and we're going to use it. Oh, well. That's not going to help us out here, is it? What do I want to do? Um, you know what? We don't have a spud gun yet, so let's just get rid of the potatoes. There's no point. No point in having spuds. Moonbow the demolition. Yeah, we're over here now. Doing the dirty work. I mean, people were freaking out. They were like, hey, come on now, what are you doing? Stop harvesting trees. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Um, you know what? Let's just drink a milk here. Because free lights are just too good, you know? I can't not take free lights. Oh, I'm falling. Okay. <laughs> Pipe gang. <laughs> will there be a save of the live stream? Yeah, tree. There will be. Um, this will be saved as a video on my channel after the stream. Uh, it it can take an hour or two to process, so that the full length of the stream is updated. But yeah, it'll be up there. Okay, well, I shouldn't be breaking those, actually, because those are kind of cool. I like the awnings. There's a satellite there, too, though. Or an antenna, I should say. It's good to break all this garbage, though. It's all moldy. Ew. 
Moombo with the new trend. Can it hammer? Yeah, you're right. I'm taking more than just the wood. It's addictive. It's addictive to just harvest everything you can. All right, let's see. Okay, let's just eat a single carrot. Oh, is it is a one shot for from Topots, but not the hammer? Well, I think the thing is with the hammer, though, you don't technically do damage to anything, you know. Technically, it's not doing damage, so. But I know what you mean. That's a nice AC unit for the base as well, so we'll make sure we leave that. There we go. Okay, that should be good, right? Well, let's see. Wait, this is all scrap wood anyway. Oh. I thought there was something that would actually... Um, what gives you wood one right away? I guess the trees do, the big trees, but I thought there was a base somewhere that had that. Do not forget the bathtub. Let's not do that on YouTube. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could eat honey. Reminds me of Raft. Um, that's actually, so there's a game that I'll be playing um, on stream in the future is Raft. If you guys are interested in, in some variety on the channel and not just always scrap mechanic, right? Kind of get some some fresh breath of fresh airs in the games. <laughs> Make a diss track on Scrapman. You want me to diss Scrapman? Wait, can I make a chest now so we can just set this to infinite? What am I missing? More metal. I only have 45 metal. That's gonna make another 10. And how much did I need? So I need five more. So I need to, I need to go kill a, a, a haybot. Raft, you like the raft? Right on. You guys like raft? That's so good to hear, cause I love it. I got obsessed with that game for a little while, actually. So yeah, I just need five metal. That's a shame. I guess we're gonna go find a couple haybots here. There's one. Why'd you go away? Um, so I was, I, a lot of the time last year was spent, oh, inscription, yeah, I'll be doing some inscription as well. A lot of my time last year was spent learning game development and, and coding and stuff like that. Have I thought about Valheim? Yeah, it's not really my kind of game. But yeah, so I've spent a lot of time learning coding, and and it's just, I got really... Uh, that's enough, actually. I got really into it. So, it was kind of distracting for me, but, like, it was just so... I was so passionate about it that I kind of put my YouTube channel on the side lines, you know, on the back burner. Do I like scary games? Uh, yes and no. I think it depends on, like, it really just comes down to the game. Because I don't play a large variety of games. So, okay, that's going to cost metal. Let's see if we have enough for both. There's a raft mod for scrap mechanic. I thought about doing raft and scrap mechanic, but... can get... It's exhausting sometimes trying to, like, create a game in a game. Well, especially scrap mechanics, so... We're going to build a chest. And I have five metal left, and I wanted it for a controller, and there it is. Oh, I need a circuit board, are you kidding me? Do I? Oh, no. I don't have any circuit boards. Yeah, coding is a lot of fun. I can make a six-wheel car now? Um, I could. Well, I'm not gonna use scrap wheels. I was learning C-sharp, is what I was learning. Raft mechanic, but yeah, no, I was only I was only learning C sharp. That just that was the one, the one thing I was learning. Uh, yeah, I don't play Five Nights at Freddy's. 
That is not my kind of game. All right, we got to go get a circuit board no matter what. So let's just go hunt down a green boy. Somewhere around here. Ooh, hidden chest. Would I stream Fortnite? Maybe, yeah. I just want to do variety. You know, here's a big thing, actually. So, I remember back when I was streaming regularly and stuff like that. Like, this, it was tough for me because, like, I would want to do Fortnite or who knows what. And, like, it's really annoying. I don't know if it's, like, scrap mechanic players or if it's just my audience in general or maybe not. But, like... If I was, like, playing Scrap Mechanic, I'd be like, hey, you know, I might go and play, uh, I might play a little bit of, uh, Fortnite, you know? And people would be like, oh, I'm unsubscribing, like, blah, 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 you know? And it's like, oh, my God, like, I can't even, like, go and have some fun, play games without, you know, upsetting people or something like that. And it, it became very exhausting, and it, it's kind of how I always funneled myself into Scrap Mechanic, because people would voice how they would unsubscribe and blah, blah, and I got, I took that to heart. But I'm at a point now where it's like, you know what? I think I just need to do it for me first, you know? And not worry so much about... You know, if someone wants to unsubscribe because I played Fortnite, well then... If so be it. What? Is there a missing something here? Are we missing something here? What is this spot? Show off your PUBG skills? <laughs> Man, I haven't played PUBG in a long time. Future Rex, what's going on? Am I gonna have suspension? I don't know yet. I might not need it. I'm just here for the background noise. Can we do the robot boxing thing? Well, that's a little tough to do for a multiplayer Monday. <laughs> it's a farm bot area? I've never seen this before. Well, I'm sure glad there is no farm bot here right now. Where is he? That's where the devs built their base in the survival trailer? Is it really? It's an arena, prepare to fight. <laughs> So is this like a pretty rare tile to have in your game or what? Yo, Tay, what's going on? Yeah, so there's supposed to be a big farm bot, like a big red boy, is there? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, if you're passing some honey, you know you're gonna grab some. You know you're gonna get stung. They just added a little lake in it? I don't know, I don't know. I've never seen that clearing before. I'll soon hear some boss music. That's one thing that this game could use a little bit of, is some combat music, you know, if you if a, if a hay bot or something picks up on you and they come and start getting up all in your business. It'd be kind of cool to have some music playing that kind of, you know, gets the adrenaline going. Some of them have no farm bots? Interesting. Yeah, no rules. I'm not, I'm not following a rule set. Like, I have a banana that we grill. Rule number one, grill the banana. Wait, oh, that's right, we left the chunk, so of course this didn't finish building. I'm like, whoa, man, that's been a long minute. <laughs> Do more games? Oh. Whoa. I think we just disconnected for a second. Hold on. Are we still live? Okay, I think we're still live. Moonboy, you're a good guy. Play what you want. Make fun videos and it will be okay. Thank you. You know, it's sometimes it's reassuring to hear that people aren't just going to abandon ship because you play a game that they don't like, you know? Okay, hold on. Let's just clean this up here. 
let's get these lights out of here. Because I think we're pretty much ready to start putting it together, right? We're going to need more bearings and stuff. So here we go. Well, well, that's in the way. They need to add a block that keeps a chunk loaded. I mean, that sounds like a potential way to just destroy your CPU. You gave up on rules? Yeah, I mean, don't need to box yourself in with rules. You'll stay because you're one of the oldest scrap mechanic friends. Good to hear that, Lego. Yeah, you have you have no choice. You're stuck here forever, Lego. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> the devs shared fighting music on Twitter once, did they? You gotta go in about 10 minutes? Uh-oh. I should do a collaboration with other YouTubers. Well, I so with the streaming, I might see maybe Khan might want to hop in on a stream here and there. Because we're I'm gonna I wanna do variety, like I said, right? I don't want to feel so stuck. Wait, can I not do this infinitely? There's a chest now, right? Oh, wait, I need an input. Can't I be the input? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we need an input. Well, now that means I need another chest. Well, until then, let's just keep that going manually. Have I ever found Hank? <laughs> oh, Fant has a chunk loader? That's pretty cool. A multiplayer Monday stream? I don't know. What's my favorite bot? I don't know. Tape bots are pretty cool, honestly. I think the tape bot. I like fighting the tape bots as well, actually. Don't you need to also max? No, you don't! N Nullity! That's a common misconception, actually. You do not need to have a fully upgraded craft bot to infinitely craft. You just need an output chest, and you need an input chest as well. So right now what we're doing is we're gonna... We're loading up on wood to start building. All right, YT best. See you later. <laughs> if the tape bots get debuffed. <laughs> How long is the stream going to be? I don't know. I just got kicked off my stream. So it didn't... Let me just check. You always max them for the autocraft? Yeah, I don't think you do. Real gold, you got to stop spamming. You're on that teetering fence right now, I'm telling you. Did they already nerf them? I haven't, like I said, I haven't played much in a while. So it's kind of, uh, you know. All right, let's get the blocks up in here. This is our block chest now, for obvious reasons. So what are we even missing for another chest? Metal and a component kit. Well, we have more component kits. So what we can do is we'll get the component kits and like all of our usable stuff. Like, despite the fact that we don't have an input chest, we'll still at least store some of our standard input items. Um, no, I'll leave those in here for now. Cause I got all these pipes and stuff we gotta do something with. Technically, only need one chest and pipes to connect. Oh, you know what? That's true. True. Very true. You can loop an output or an input chest to the other side. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even see that person's username. Everyone was talking about gold, and I was like, "What are you guys talking about? <laughs> you guys are confusing." So let's see here. Wait, did I build a controller yet? No, I didn't. So we'll do a controller as well. Moon Man said no. 
All right, light boy, thanks for dropping in, eh? You take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, electric motors and stuff. I mean, for the mobile base's movement, I think we're gonna go controller powered. We're gonna use controller. I have a feeling that that will be the, uh... It's the, I mean, it's just, it is the cheapest way. There's no fuel required, right? No, I know they were spamming. I just didn't realize their username. Yeah, we're, you know, we're not, we don't mind timing people out around here. It's a little timeout, and if you just keep on being annoying, well, then, yeah, we'll, we'll change the deal. <laughs> Yo, Blau, thank you for the subscription. That's right, double. I'm off sync. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I, I realized I should have done big wheels after I made the small ones. <laughs> I realize my mistake. All right, so I can't really go anywhere while these are crafting, but I need... All right, well, we need to turn that into actual metal now as well. So that's one and two. So we need real metal. I want to do one more. There's just, I, there's certain things I want to get up and running before we start moving around as a base. Piston engines? Yeah, I, I wouldn't go with a piston engine or anything like that. But I am all for starting small, you know? Like, start small. Okay, we need scrap metal, actually. Holy. Okay, yeah. I need more scrap metal. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I still don't have a vehicle, but that's alright. I am not racing to get this vehicle. Oh, hold on. Let's get some more tomatoes. Don't forget about the far. What? Yo, Melmy Ingstein, thank you for being here. You gotta go. That's all right. There will be more streams because we're back, baby. Um. Yeah. Oh, Lego. Everything is coming with us. Everything and the kitchen sink. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, piston engines are really cool. Absolutely. Yeah, what about the garden? Well, okay, the garden... <clears throat> so there's some ideas I have. There's some ideas that I have for the, um... For the farming. And it's kind of... It's hard to, to like, a, exactly describe it in words. But imagine I'm going to be building a mobile base with an internal farming system. D like, is that that's the best way? That's the best way I can describe it. An internal farming system inside the mobile base. Yo, Devin, what's going on? Good to see you. And hello, Mark. Everything in the broken microwave. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it's broken? So in case, I think someone was asking about this earlier, if you have something that you can't build, it, I mean, it, sh it says it right there, force build, you can press B, and then it turns into, uh, you know, turns into something you can build. Pretty much, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I don't know about deploying a farm with the vacuum pumps, but it will be, the farm will be contained within the mobile base. You have a question, Logan? Go for it. Hopefully I'll see it. And MM, glad to see you're streaming. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be streaming as well. Oh, wait. I meant to leave these behind. You gotta go to the mall? Holy macaroni. MM with the 89 DKK. Is that Dutch Kroners? Ah, the... The non-Canadian money. Yo, thank you so much, MM, for that super chat. Holy. 
Much appreciated. Yeah, planter boxes and stuff. It, this, like, it reminds me a lot of Raft when we start talking about that. Yes, exactly. And yo, elude this. Uh, good to see you, by the way. It's good to see you. And yeah, so the vehicle is going to contain... Let me just... Here, you know what? Let's go into the light. And we're gonna quickly... I'll just quickly show you. Am I married? I'm not married, but you know what? I am married. Just not... Not legally. <laughs> the stream isn't even over and you're already excited for the next one. <laughs> So I'm, I might, uh, Danish, is it? Dutch just uses Euros? Oh, it's Danish Kroners, is it? So, I, I don't know if, um, if tomorrow's stream will be Scrap Mechanic. It probably will be, just because I'm really getting into this mobile base, and obviously I think progressing through the growing pains of the first parts are pretty important. But, so here we go. So we're gonna pretend like, um... Okay, so we're gonna pretend- okay, so pretend that this is the mobile base here. I'm just trying to visualize. So, basically, the mobile base is going to have- like, let's map this out really fast here, okay? So, the mobile base is gonna basically have, like, a front command station. Whether it's ground level or not, who knows yet, right? I'm legally married? Pretty much, yeah. How do you make that person on your webcam? Lots of hours and having an amazing girlfriend slash wife. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there'll be a front command station, um, you know, and then probably re rear vehicles. We'll have some rear vehicles on the back for deploying. You gotta go. All right, you would see you later. Uh, and then so yeah, in the center here, we will have our farming section. Right? So we'll be farming inside the base, basically. And if you can imagine, um, we'll be adding defensive systems um, on either side of the farm and all that good stuff. And we'll be defending from within the base. So this, just to give you an idea of what this is going to look like. Add a garage in it. No, the vehicles are going to have to be welded to the base to reduce lag. Our planter box is new or a mod? No, I we uh, Lego was just saying that we sh they, the game needs them, and I 100% agree. Uh, if you look at a game like Raft, where you have to you have to have it's a requirement to have those planter boxes, uh, and it, it works well. It's executed very well in Raft, and I think it would uh, serve scrap mechanic very well too. So, all right, Jess, yo, take it easy. Like I said, I'll get the mod stuff set up uh, for the next one. All right. Ah, uh, but you take it easy. Have a great day. Illegally married? No, it's not. What? No. <laughs> Spud gun turret on top? Maybe. Maybe for killing the big reds, right? I guess that would probably be a good idea. Is uh, taking out the red farm bots with like a spudling gun on the top. Yeah. You can't place... No, I know. That's why I will be manually placing... Um. I'll just be manually placing the soil, but we'll be able to plant the farm. And then once we plant the farm, we'll sit there. The base will protect it. We'll, we'll defend it. And then when it's done, we'll pick up our soil and move on to the next location. Because there's nothing saying that, like, once you start... Uh, once you start, uh, you know... When, when you stop somewhere with your mobile base, that doesn't, like, there's no timer. It's not like I need to move X amount of times every day or something. Like I said, there's no rules in the way we're doing this one. It's just having some fun. Marriage vlogs, please. I was thinking of doing some cooking, some cooking videos. Would you guys be interested in watching me cook food? Very good food, at least. You know, good homemade food, home recipes. They are... Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, there are planter boxes as a model and not a uh, functional piece. That's right. Well, I guess they're kind of like the grass board or something. What do you cook? All sorts of food. We've been getting into all sorts of dry seasonings and home home dried herbs and home dried um, vegetables. Man, there are not a lot of ruins around here. That's the one thing about this... <gasps> Oh, I thought that was a big red. I thought that was a big red over there. 
Yeah, I mean, just being able to plant crops, though, in a, your vehicle will be huge. Hope I'll be doing even more builds in 2022. Yeah, I'll be... I'll probably kind of mess around in creative mode, but, um... I've been a little uninspired with creative mode. Just because I've done so much. I've... I've I've played a ridiculous amount of creative mode. Okay, I feel very unsafe in this forest. Very vulnerable right now. He says herb, right? <laughs> Did you see that? Look at this. You can you can scale these corns. Oh, okay. It's just a it's just a haybot. I thought that was a big red boy. Do you have a dog? No. You'd watch the cooking. All right. Well, maybe it's something to consider. Because me and Jado have talked about maybe getting a decent camera, or maybe using the camera we have to record some of that stuff, so... Just because... It... There's more to life than video games, you know? Oh man, that hurt. No, I do not want pigment flowers. I am not ready for flowers. We're not ready to stop and smell the roses just yet. Yeah, five years of creative mode has worn you out too, Lego. Tell me about it, right? Like, I mean, geez. Like, making video games? Well, that's the thing, right? It turned into making video games. I have more fun making video games than I do playing video games, you know? Yo, Cosmo, what's going on? Good to see you, Cosmo. Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, I know. This is my real face, actually. I don't know if you know that or not, but... Can you see me looking right at the camera? Look at this. I'm staring right into your soul. I'm staring right into... your soul. <laughs> oh, yeah. Axelot's slow at development, but, you know, I mean, I guess maybe for me as a... I would consider myself to be a veteran scrap mechanic player. Uh, and it's no surprise, you know, I got used to that within the first year or two of playing, right? So, I mean, some people can't wait, other people can. But, you know, just keep on, keep on building, baby. It's what we do. He sees my secrets. Your eyes are so dreamy. <laughs> you want to know how I got my name? So, I thought I... I think there's a Discord... Um, oh, wait, we have a special magical chair now. Hold on, we can use our newfound chair for this. Uh, there's a... I think there's a sticky post on the, my Discord or something, I think, that... Uh, no, you know what? I don't have the time. I don't want to go up there. You got that about two years ago? You want to know how we did the avatar? Well, that was uh, Jato who did it. Uh, but at the end of the day, what it comes down to is having a model, a, like a character model that's rigged. It has to be rigged. And uh, you have to know blend shapes. You have to look into creating blend shapes. Good things come to those who wait. The holy chair of teleportation. Whoa, whoa, look at this! Look at what we just ran into! Okay, well first things first, when you find honey, you take the honey. Oh, that poor hawk. The poor walk. So which station? Let's see, what station is this? You like me? Oh, I like you guys! <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Red Builder. <laughs> Ooh, 
We've got ourselves a veggie packing station. Woo! A hobo on the moon? Yeah, that's one way to interpret it. <laughs> How much scrap metal do we get? 30, that's it. That's brutes. That's not good. That's brutal. We're gonna kill more, more haybots. There you go, Jado just said it in the chat there. R character model, rigging, blend shapes, unity stuff, face tracking. It's a lot. It is a lot. You gotta do a lot. I forgot about the unity part. I totally forgot about the fact that you have to put it into unity and plug it all in. <laughs> forgot about that. I do a tutorial on how to do the face cam stuff. Who knows, maybe Jato might do some stuff like that on her channel. I don't know. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's just an empty pool. Okay. I thought there was going to be something in there, but it's just empty. Where'd all the chemicals go? I thought we were going to get some chemicals. I think Jato could probably do a, a really good tutorial. I think there's some good tutorials out there, but not as good as what she could make. Hey, I see that piece of meat there. These guys are out here just killing the walks. Ah, oh, good. I forgot. I was like, oh man, hey bots, but it's like, no, we need the scrap metal. We need the scrap metal. All the main POIs are the same. Is it always the same, though? A lakent. <laughs> yeah, it's good music in case you're wondering. It is Streets of Rage 4 OST. What do you mean with mobile? Um, well, so the base, it's gonna be a mobile base. Here, let me, let me put it to you in better terms. It will be a nomad survival run. <laughs> no dogs, no pets. I think we were already in this one here. I think we got some scrap metal now though. We just wanted to make another chest, right? Let's head back to base. Not mobile base though, just normal base for now. I don't need- I already have some cotton, actually, driver. We already have cotton. Does Moombo drink moonshine? Actually, we drank some moonshine on Christmas break. But it was the legal stuff and not illegal moonshine, so it's not like it was... ...literally poison. <laughs> actually get a cat. Yeah, we were talking about a walking mobile base, and uh, it's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, builds get pretty chonky, eh, Justin? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, yeah, I can already tell that that's gonna happen. But there's certain things you can do to make- to save certain amounts of space anyway. Um, <laughs> excuse me, so... So we were in it to win it on the scrap metal, so we got the metal going. Oh wait, no! Oh, I screwed up. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, okay, I made a mistake. How fast did you find out that walk spelled backwards was cow? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You want to do it just for fun? Hey, I mean, the game is all about challenging yourself, right? So I screwed up because I meant... I, I gotta make some bearings. Wait, can you... I screwed up. I need to go get more scrap metal. <laughs> oh boy. We need more scrap metal already. I wasted it. Oh wait, there's five. There's one bearing. <laughs> How about a flying base? I tell you what, a flying base would be possible if you turned off um, fuel consumption from the thrusters. 
you could definitely do it. And I'm sure it'd be easy to go into the files and change the uh, rate at which uh, your your fuel would get used. So there's some possibilities there, but it would it would probably you, it was not realistic to do uh, without changing the game. Okay, so we're gonna get our component kits down. Uh, let's get the honey up here. Okay, that's the most of it there, so we're gonna move it here. Uh, so yeah, let's just see here, because we need four bearings, right? So that's three. Or that's four here, yeah. Whoops, okay, yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. This is not where the bearings are. So that's four bearings with a certain limited speed. You know what? We're gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, because we're, we might need these component kits in the future. All right, Red, see you later, eh? Thanks for dropping by. Scrap City. More alcohol? Really? Yo, Foul 4, what's going on? Hello to you. You can make a flying base near... Oh, that'd be kind of cool. If you could siphon gas while hovering above it. That sounds like some sweet science, doesn't it? I might have to test that out. Okay, so we have one bearing. And we have two bearings. So let's just lay out our supplies. This is our board of supplies here right now. Okay, so we need to do more. The chest... I wanted the chest for this, or the metal, sorry, for this. Oh my god, do I already not have enough glue? Holy man, this game is a grind, isn't it? <laughs> they should add some alcoholic drink to scrap mechanic, but then they, the rating would change. The game's rating would change, actually, if they did that, right? I'm so big? Controller-powered propellers, yeah. Yeah, this game is all about creativity. That's why I fell in love with it. They're like, people might people think I play this game and they're like, Hey, Moombo likes survival games because he plays Scrap Mechanic. And it's like, no, actually, I, uh, I started playing this game because it was a creative game. And they just so happened to add a survival thing, which I didn't even know was coming when I got this game. I got it creative mode and I was like, oh, this is fun. And then at some point I found out, it was like, oh, yeah, they want to turn it into a survival game. And I was like, oh, well... I don't play survival games, so we'll see. <laughs> but they did a good job balancing the creativity and stuff like that. It's just a matter of adding more content, really. Just let the wok milk ferment. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if that works that way. Yeah, oh yeah, so that makes sense, Vax. Yeah, so if you, yeah, so it's been done. I, I It doesn't surprise me that it's been done. It's a pretty, like, the concept is, like, right there, you know? Once, well, once they added those uh, fuel ponds. But yeah, it's not a surprise that the fuel consumption rate is higher or faster than the rate at which you can input the fuel or at least process it. What's up with the spamming? How- why are there still people spamming? Are you kidding me? Worst grind is the glue? Hey, at least it's more than just one. Remember when it used to drop one clam at a time? Any mods in the chat? Any smilers in chat? What we do around here, we put up with spammers in the chat. Well, we don't put up with them, but we have to deal with them. <laughs> so how many... We're at day five. Damn. Nice face cam. Yo, thanks, offline. <laughs> Yep. Big props to the mods. 4-4 sleeping with the fishes now. Yeet! 
Whoa, I just saw something glow over there. What was that? I think my crops are done. They'll probably fix it at some point. Yo, sick awesome. Thank you so much for dropping by. You take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Face cam is S tier. That's right, this is my real face. You found it was impossible? Yeah, I guess it's just an issue, right? It's just not... It's not meant to be. When the underwater used to lag me... Yo, Spy Cakes, what is going on, Spy? How you doing? Good to see you. The underwater used to lag? Why, well, yeah, I mean, this... I feel like this whole game was just a lag mess. <laughs> But yeah, happy new year, spy. Hope uh hope it's been good so far, 2022, you know. What's going on, burnout? Yeah, exactly. You can't refine fuel and fast enough. Man, how am I missing those ones back there? Got some bad aim, guys. Some bad aim here. Yeah, I've, uh, I, man, Spy, I got so deep into, uh, game development, like, learning C-sharp and Unity that I, uh, man, I was sucked in there, let me tell you. Holy... It was a lot of fun, though. I learned so much. I'm so glad I did it. But I'm ready to game it out. Your voice is off sync. Are you sure it's off sync? Maybe it's just not accurate. <laughs> it could be that. I mean, I'm not I'm not looking at the camera like 100%. So if I turn my face, then the face tracking gets kind of disabled a little bit. But don't worry, we'll be doing real face cam and, and the fun stuff. Okay. You typed the same thing? Yo, username with the super chat, hold on here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't know if that was gonna go through. It's going through. <laughs> Just dropping by to say hey and glad to see you streaming. Happy New Year. Yo, happy new year to you as well, username. So good to see you. Uh, and it's funny, actually, just at the beginning of this stream, I was talking about how, like, I haven't streamed in a while. Uh, videos have been, you know, spotty at best. Uh, but there have been, you know, people who have stayed as members through it all, you know. And so uh, I just want to take this moment to thank you and all of the members that stuck around through all of that really means a lot. Yeah, so thank you so much, username, for the super chat. It's good to see you. Happy New Year to you as well. Was that GLaDOS? I mean, maybe. Yo, Tim, what's going on? First time here? Well, welcome. Uh, this is your first... I, I like anyone that's dropping into the stream for the first time ever is getting to see not my real face cam, but this, like, VTuber style one instead. So I, I do, I get a bit of a kick out of that, because normally I would have used actual face cam. But not this time. Oh wait, no, I wanted to make glue, didn't I? You guys in chat are distracting me. <laughs> it's true, right, Electric? It really does feel like it's another camera in the game. It's like you, like, pretend like you're, there's a camera in front of this character right now, you know? And this is what you're seeing. I think it's really cool. Thank you for your apology, Faux Four. I hope uh, I hope uh, we don't uh, have to do that again. The cam is great. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I love it. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. Like I was saying, I'm 34 years old, and when I was a kid, 
this this shit just did not exist, man. There's no way that you would be like, whoa, look at that. It just didn't exist. Later alligator. I'll have to look at that. I don't know what that is. All right, so that's done. We're doing glue now. It's kind of immersive. It is, isn't it? The Holy Commandments. Now the timeouts are flying, but no ban hammers just yet. I don't think so anyway. I mean, I trust my mods. <laughs> How did you fix your early survival glitches? Was it easy as reinstalling the game or moving into another drive? Um, Captain, are you having issues? The same issues? Because as far as I'm aware, the developers fixed it. Like, I didn't do anything really specifically on my end. I was just giving information to the devs based off of my system and stuff. You tried to subscribe, but you already were? Well, Tim! What the heck? Are you a liar? No, I'm just kidding. 34. I'm 61. Okay, well, hold on here, Vax. It's not a competition now. Or maybe it is, is it? In that case, no. <laughs> On the old IBM systems, man. Well, back in the day when computers could fill a room, right? <laughs> it does, Spy. It does. It's funny, because I made a barrel roll joke earlier today, actually, in the stream. <laughs> so there's our glue. We're going to use it to make another chest. It's a short game, but it's hilarious. Okay. Mad Mort still playing? Yes, sir. -ee. You're not having issues, just curious? Oh, okay, yeah. No, so, uh, yeah. The developers were just in contact with me about about those problems, and, uh, and we got them resolved. Ah, Electric X remembers. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Keep the VTuber? I mean, I'm enjoying it. I get a kick out of it, like I said. Wow! Man, these chests take a while. <laughs> I know, right? A VTuber that's not a furry? I'm not an animal anyway. I'm a beast! A beast mode! Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You weren't here for it, but you know the meme. Yeah, exactly. If someone is referencing Star Fox, what else would it be? Playing through stream? Can you check your in-game? You want to know my... What do you mean? Like, my in-game hours? Is that not public info? My current... Okay, as of right now... My current playtime in Scrap Mechanic is 3,412 hours. So there you go. That's the number. Am I proud of it? Sure. <laughs> it's a hairless ape. I mean, that's me, isn't it? One of them could look like an IRL Moombo planet. I'm all on, I'm on board. Strap me to a rocket ship. Let's go. What is going on with the walking in this game? I swear to God, this is different. They've changed something. Look at this. This is different, right? That... That doesn't look right to me. <laughs> You're only at 2,800. You take breaks every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, see, it because it makes sense for me, right? Because it's like... I, for a long time, you know, I'm making content on YouTube and this and that, and uh, so it makes sense in some ways to have that many hours in the game, but, you know, if, if someone's just doing it in their free time, like, I mean, that's just so cool, you know? That, this is the magic of Scrap Mechanic, in my opinion. For that, you're going to need glass, tier 2 metal, and circuit boards. Okay, so we have a loop now. 
Which means I will happily... Okay, well, I need to grab it in my inventory here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, man. I haven't played this game in a while. I forget how things work. So, these are all going to get emptied. And now we're going to move them here. Mm -hmm. I'm building a rocket ship. No, I'm not. The secret scat mechanic ladder. Yeah, they added ladders to the game. Look at this. <laughs> All right, so we got wood in there. And let's just confirm this. Yeah, okay, look. So for the future reference, people were saying, remember now, the, the craft bot does not need to be level five in order to unlock the loopable crafting. Again, you just need an input and an output or at least a looping system that will run both you love the music yo axe yeah this is the streets of rage 4 soundtrack never played it but the music is stupidly good does does scrap mechanic have rtx i don't think so not that i can tell anyway <laughs> hey hold up look we got another banana when did i get this banana Can we... Okay, we can attach... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, we're just gonna put the banana down. <laughs> Looks like some kind of workaround for climbing terrain, but it's jank- Yeah, I don't- this- I've never seen this before. Here, let me, um... Because I noticed it when I was... Oot and a boot... In the forest here. Uh, okay, well, of course, I'm trying to find corn, and I can't find corn anymore. But I was climbing corn with it. Janky ladder TM. <laughs> Get a hold of Scrapman and do a co-op survival game. Like I was saying earlier, actually, like, there's potential for getting the boys on the streams here, because, like, I wanted to do variety a little bit more. That involves more than just scrap mechanic, right? And, um... And, like, we... Me, Scrap Man, and Con, like, we play games outside of scrap mechanic. Like, we actually hang out and, like, we're pretty good friends online now, you know? Like, it's not just a matter of, uh... Recording and having a professional relationship with each other, right? It's, uh... It's more than that. All right, let's get our craftables up in here. Okay, well, we can hold on to that, but we're going to put up our crude oil. I'll just put that in there for now because I have nowhere else to put it. I need a block. It's always really nice to have a block in your inventory ready to go. This is completely useless for now. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know about the RTX in Scrap Mechanic. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Everyone stop talking about RTX. <laughs> X-Tech, what's going on? Good to see you. The collision box has a slope. It's steep. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I just don't remember this ever happening before. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not like we're going to be doing it regularly. Component kits are nice to have. It's good to have blocks. I forgot to put my tomato seeds away. And wait, did I screw up again? I need more scrap metal. Hold on. Okay, we need some scrap metal. So we're gonna go get scrap metal. Let's just get organized a little bit here. Those are craftables. This is a craftable. Whoops. Let's just get all of our craftables going here. Um, paint is a craftable technically, right? Gas we don't need, but we'll just store it up there. We'll keep our food here. Oh, we got to use our fresh sign. Can't not do that, right? No, we'll just put it there for now. Hey, what's going on, Moonburn? I was saying Moonburns. I really enjoy the stream. This is nice. Thanks, Nate. I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right, Luzi, yo, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Batteries are craftable. Those 
this is just gonna go here for now. Once we actually leave this place, it will be uh, emptied. We will clear it out. Oh, oh, I'm just getting rid of stuff from my inventory for now. If you mess with projectiles, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can break anything in any game if you go in and change the files. It's not going to be a box, but it's not going to be an RV either. What happened here? What happened? Why did I only... Did I only plant that many? I... I don't know what just happened. I don't know what happened to my... To my crops. That's kind of weird. I thought I had a brand new fresh batch. Batteries are craftable. Yeah, I think... Did I put batteries up there? I think I put batteries up there. Imagine if you had to wait for things to craft in Minecraft, like stack of plans. I don't- I haven't played a lot of Minecraft, so I'm not familiar. You ate them, Nate! Come on, now! Driving a gothic cathedral. So there's a streamer on Twitch that I've seen a few times. I watch him every now and then uh, when I want to watch some scrap mechanic. He does survival. He's a very dedicated survival player on Twitch. Um... I think his name is Fluffly- Fluffy McFluffface, I think is his name. And he has a mobile base, and I gotta say, it's probably like... It's like one of the most impressive survival things I have ever seen in the game. It's so cool. You wanna watch more Scrap Mechanic live streams from Moombo? We can make that happen. We have the technology. Okay, so... Every now and then, I have to figure out what's going on in my brain in the game, you know? And so right now, I'm pretty- I'm cleaned up. We're organized. We need scrap metal because we need more bearings. So we're gonna go... Man, there's no- I wish there were some more ruins in the area, but that's alright. So we gotta go and get, uh, we do have to go get some scrap metal still. Sorry you were hungry? Why are you apologizing to me for being hungry? What? <laughs> yeah, there's no- there's not a lot of ruins around this base. But that's good, that's why we're- we're this is a perfect case point for a mobile base then, right? Because we're not gonna worry about this stuff once we're moving. Uh, now I will keep collecting honey though, because... I, uh, I should have went straight to the big wheels, I'm realizing now. Like, m making the small wheels was kind of just a waste of materials. But it could come in handy, actually, for the, um... For, like, the peripheral vehicles. The extra vehicles that we have attached to the, to the entire thing. I think that's where it will shine. Yo, stop spamming the chat, please. Or face the consequences. Yo, Ja Crispy to you, what's going on? Welcome in, welcome in, good to see you. Nothing fell on the top. Yeah, we'll take some free honey. Yeah, it'll be useful. McFluff face or McFluffy face. Yeah, Fluffy McFluff face or McFluffy face. That's who I'm talking about. They have probably like the coolest mobile base I've ever seen. Does Scrap Mechanic ever get boring? Absolutely. Heck yeah, it does. Every, any game in my opinion will get boring eventually. Well, not necessarily. Some games, well, I mean, you just get, you can't burn yourself out on a game, you know? And Super JK, what's going on? Good to see you. That's a good one. Oh man, spinning your vehicle to kill enemies. That's a cool concept. 
I tried that. <laughs> that was one of my first experiments, was spinning something to kill, hay like, Haybots. It did not work. What am I using to get the avatar as my cam? This is, uh, the application is called VC Face. That's the name. It's the technical term. And what did you miss? Not much, we're still working our way up. Oh wait, hold on! Is this... Okay, so I, oh, I've never noticed this sign that far ahead of the trader. That's crazy. Every game gets boring after a while. Yeah, I think there's some truth to that, right? So the trader is right here. That's good. Good info. Da Vinci's tank. Nothing lasts forever. That's why you have to cherish good moments. We're getting too deep for me right now, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, what have we found back here? We're just doing our little foot patrol right now. Are there any Haybots, though? What? I feel like this world is not very populated. Okay, so look at this oil here. It's right in our back door. We've got an oil pond in our back door. What do I use to edit my videos? I use Lightworks. That is my program of choice. Okay, where are all the Haybots at? Man, I just want some scrap metal. You know what I'm saying? Where's some scrap metal? You have spinning things that kill the bots? Yeah, my... My, uh... My methodology of the first time I ever did it was not very good anyway. That's probably why it didn't work. Wow, this guy saw me from a mile away. Okay, I think that's actually good enough for two bearings, right? USA has entered the chat. It seems like a nice place to make a base, yeah. What do I think of using an elevator as an entrance to a suspension mobile? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You can definitely do, uh... I mean, it might get kind of laggy, but, I mean, we're gonna try and balance lag and size as much as possible here, you know? I don't- I don't want to sacrifice too much design just because of lag, so we're gonna try and find that perfect balance, you know, between lagging and not lagging. You use DaVinci Resolve? Yeah, I use Lightworks just because it's a really simple, simple program. Yeah, you like building but not grinding. Yeah, that's that's why like I don't normally play survival games, you know? I'm not I'm not big on survival games, but every now and then it's kind of fun, you know? I mean, Raft was something that really was special to me as a survival game. I thought Raft was really fun. Well, I hated Raft the first day I ever played it actually. And then after a a day of playing it, oh, come on, stop it. Sometimes these haybots are just so annoying. But yeah, I, I ended up falling in love with it. Giant Topot mech suit. Even like a Haybot mech suit would be kind of cool. Oh man, going through these forests is dangerous. Oh yeah, I remember when there was no... No uh, oil ponds. And it's funny because I, I remember, oh man, it's like stupid how many hours I would spend, like, I would spend, like, I would spend like three hours in a day collecting oil. This is how stupid this is. I would spend like three hours collecting oil, and then I remember having a video once where I showed how much oil I had. Oh my god, did this guy just multiply? What was that? Oh yeah, I showed how much oil I had, and everyone was just like... A lot, well, not everyone, but a lot of people. A lot of people were saying, like, I cheated, and I, like, you know, changed the game or whatever to increase my, uh... The number of, uh... Oil I was getting, or something like that, and I was like, are you kidding me? I just spent three hours harvesting all this, and everyone thinks I cheated. 
<laughs> in Ark, grinding resources time is measured in weeks. Yeah, I think whoever, people who play Ark really love Ark, I think. <laughs> Multiplying Haybots? It was! Did that Haybot just multiply or is it just me? And I'm a little lost. I think we're going up and over here, right? Robomitosis. <laughs> That's the uh, scientific term. Pushes up glasses. Mm -hmm. Make it happen, Prime Guy. Let's see it. <laughs> All right, well, we got some scrap metal now. More than we set out to get. Man, I miss my blueberries. We need to get back into the blueberry game here. I'm a blueberry kind of guy. I'm lost. I am lost. Where the heck? Oh, no. Okay, back to the road. Back to the road! It's not made to respect your time. Yeah, these games are just disrespectful, man. They they take advantage of us. Chew us up, spit us out. No respect, I'm telling you. No respect. <laughs> I'm just waiting to walk right through a Big Red. Where is old Big Red at? Where's the- okay, forget Big Red, where's the road? I got music on, so I have to do like a 360 every time I start refining something, because I can't hear if there's something coming up behind me. No, I just didn't see which way they came from. I prefer the multiplication. No, see, I- what? I looked around! <laughs> it's another one of those multiplying farm bots. On the road again. Astroneer? I don't know about that game. What programming languages did I use? Uh, I, I was learning C Sharp. <laughs> That's a cat in a nutshell right there, isn't it? How have I lost the road? Oh, okay, hold on. I was going in the right direction. We're going this way. They're hiding in the bushes and trees. Stop being so logical. Hey, look, my lift is still here and everything. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's right. I have a free... I forgot about that. There's a free beacon at the at the uh, mechanic station, isn't there? That's what happens when you uh, haven't played this game in a while. How do we... So there's mechanic station. Oh, wow, that's so good. Compression's losing it? Yeah, that's nighttime for you, probably. You're dating yourself? Well, okay, hold on now. I am. Just because I know a song doesn't mean I was alive when it was written. <laughs> But yes, I am kind of dating myself a little bit. Um, hold on here. So we want two bearings, right? We need two more bearings. Well, we're going to want more than two bearings, aren't we? Is It's best practice to at least double up, right? So we're going to... We have... We have those two. So if we have those two, then that means we're going to have four. So we need... We're gonna want eight, right? We want to double up these bearings at least. 
You better attend to your cat. What games have I made? Um, well, I haven't really finished a game yet. I'm working on one right now. I'll be doing some videos on this stuff in the future. Night doesn't look so bad. Yeah, I turned the brightness up a little bit, so... You can already see it. I know, I turned it on anyway. <laughs> you got Scrap Mechanic because of Moombo and Cosmo. Right on, Viper. Hope you're having fun with the game. So, there is... That. So, let's just build uh, out here. Uh, on this side. I've made a table. Yeah, this is the best table you're ever going to see. It's called a mobile table. And what a mobile table does is it allows for you to put stuff on it... ...mobily. <laughs> oh yeah, steering bearings. Those... Those darn steering bearings. That face cam is epic. Yo, not me. Thank you so much. It was created by my girlfriend, Jado. She did an amazing job. What am I doing now? Uh, we're getting wheels and bearings ready to go. Face reveal? Yo, you- I have my face all over my channel. You just gotta go find it yourself, you know? So let's see. Oh wait, we don't even have a seat. That's another thing we're gonna need. So, I'm gonna go with the full-on driver's seat, I think. I think that's what I want. Your multiplayer shenanigans are some of the best on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, White Void. Yeah, we'll throw some wheels on the table, we'll go, and we'll call it the proper mobile table that it will be. Face unreveal? Yeah, let me take that back. Everyone, wipe your memory of my face. I have no metal now. Hold, man, this game is just, uh... It's a never-ending... Like, look, I... Oh, wait, oh, okay, no, we do have scrap metal. Um, we'll do three. We'll save a little bit for more bearings just in case. Yo, Jay Hoban, what's going on? No saddle seat. Where do I get my music for my videos? For my videos, I get the music from the YouTube library. All legit. Tucker West, what is going on? Good to see you. Face forgotten, that's right. It brings back some uh, nostalgia from the old creative streams. Yeah, the good old days. Hey, we're back though. Streaming is back. I'm pretty pumped to be streaming on YouTube again. Holy macaroni, it's already 5 o'clock, wow. What face? You did a face reveal when? Michael, there's all over my channel. How many times do I gotta say this? All over my channel you will find... I mean, especially if you go to previous streams, right? Yes, uh, Leg Dig, this is the entire Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack, actually. That's what we're listening to. The whole thing. It's one, it's probably like one of the, it's probably like... The best game soundtrack I've ever heard in my life. You gotta tune into more of my streams? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna blame you for not tuning into them if I'm not- If I'm not streaming, you can't watch them. <laughs> I don't have a face. I don't know why you guys keep talking about the fact that I have a face like I actually have one. You all know that's not true. Exactly, Game Soup knows what's up. Um, so how do we want to turn? I don't have any suspension at the moment, but we're gonna forego sus- Wait, well that's probably a bad idea. I probably should. But no, I think ideally there will be no suspension. You know, there should not be suspension. And the reason I say that is because... We need to save our frames anywhere we can. You're the one thing keeping me sane? That sounds like a lot of responsibility. 
<laughs> so we have our turning bearings. Oh, we have some pipes too, actually. So why don't we uh, go into our pipe locker here? Uh, that might be it. The shadow is my real face. All right, Wood, see you later, eh? Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy the rest of your day. Man, so I need to grow some carrots or something because right now I have to eat so many tomatoes. Oh, God. I love tomatoes, but you have to eat way too many of them to feed yourself. Why is this... Why is not this your face reveal? There's a few reasons why. So, you might have noticed how simple... Wait, if- oh yeah, that's right. If I'm not putting suspension, we don't really need to worry too much about, um... Lifting all that much. We're not gonna worry about lifting. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna do it like this instead, I think. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I should have tank steering. That was one thing I was thinking about. Uh, we'll see. It needs to be three times bigger than this. Well, that's why we're gonna start... Okay, you know what? Okay, we start with a plate, a, a table, not a plate. So this is not running. Let's see what this... Oh, God. Oh, boy. All right, so there's our first thing. Wait, a chair. I need to make a driver's seat. I want a, I want a full-on driver's seat, I think. The face reveal looks similar to you in Scrap. Wait, do you mean literally, or are you just... ...meaning like a joke? Is this the famous mobile base I've heard all about? I mean, you haven't heard about it from me. There's no split, is there? You have to... Or is there? Yes, there is a split. It's middle mouse button. Okay, it's all coming back to me. Simplicity equals frames. Exactly. Bum, bum, bum. Do eight wheel steering? Now that sounds excessive. <laughs> yeah, Axelot uses real pictures of Mumbo to create the mechanic. Exactly, that's what I was saying. A motion-captured, face-rigged scrap mechanic. What a time to be alive. You know, that's exactly what Scrap Man said when I showed him this. He said, what a time to be alive. He might have been a little more sarcastic than you, though. <laughs> So how many bearings can you attach to a a chair like this? Oh my god, imagine little legs on the craft bot. I mean, those are his little legs right there, aren't they? He's got little legs. All right, everyone uh, 2000 wheel steering. <laughs> Why stop there? No, the chests will be coming as well. Yeah, everything will be with us. Because this is not going to happen overnight. You know, this is going to take some time. But that's what we're here for. We're here for the long haul, baby. My dog watches your videos sometimes. I don't know why, but your voice catches his attention. It's kind of funny, actually, because... And you can ask Jato this, because she always mentions this, actually. Is whenever we're around dogs, I don't know why, but they just... It's like they're, a, they, they're compelled to come see me. I don't know what it is. Dogs just love me. Make the banana the hood emblem. Afrocial... 
you are a genius. I love it. It's official now. That's what we're doing. So we're just going to extend this bottom section here like that to match the ex the front wheels. We're not going to have any ground clearance at the moment. Oh wait, we're double bearing. That's right. Oh wow, I forgot all about that. That's what we have to do. It's a bearing and a bearing. And then a pipe. They love you. Uh, yeah, this will be turned into a video afterwards. Absolutely, yeah. It will be a video on the channel afterwards. Fo show. <laughs> Mumbo's frequency only that dogs can hear. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really high pitch. It's so... I have to use a special voice mod so that you guys can hear me. How is this looking? Do we have a controller? So we're just setting up our first instances here of mobile basing, you know? Okay, if we're going to put the banana here, that's a good idea, by the way. We have to just move that back a little bit. Because I ideally, I guess, actually, anything sensitive, like, important things need to be tucked away and safe. You need some clearance, you'll be bottoming out constantly. Well, the idea was, at for the beginning, I'm going to stay on the road. I think we're going to just stay on the road. You know? I'm going to leave these scrap wheels here. I wasted some resources, but... The bearing is going to be more floppy if it's not directly on the wheel? What do you mean? This bearing here? I guess you're right. You know what? Yeah, actually, what am I doing? I don't even need... It doesn't have to be that way. It can just be like that. What am I doing? That's what happens when you don't play this game every single day. No, I'm just kidding. It's been a little while. Oh yeah, so I need double bearings on on the front too, actually. Yeah, I'll be investing in big wheels. What made me get into YouTube uh, was it was Scrap Mechanic, actually. And K Garlinghouse, thank you so much for the kind words. You had your volume down. <laughs> so I realize now I also need the double bearing setup. Whoops on this part here. Yo, Lunar! So good to see you again. Welcome back. Yeah, I don't even need bearings. We're just gonna slide our way to victory. So how do I want to do the double bearing... I guess we'll start with that. And then I guess... Whoops, that's a honeycomb. So I'm using double bearings at the moment because um, we're using a... We're going to be using a controller for our steering operation. Uh, and so the thing about controllers is they kind of... Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to do tank steering necessarily. Not right off the bat. Maybe in the future. Um, but currently, it's just because we'll be able to... Oh, okay, well, now I realize I need to upgrade this actually even more now. <laughs> Man, it's never ending. I need to upgrade this even more. Because I want to have eight bearings now. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll run it with what we got for now. Right? We'll do what we got. No, Lego, I know. It's because if you... So, like, if you have... Um, like, the best way I can put it is, like, if you have two bearings with a controller... So, let's just say 360 as fast as we can on loop, right? 
So I think if I press forward, you can see it's spinning at X speed there, right? That's the speed it's spinning at. I'll have to rotate that there, but it's going to reset. Yeah, so so the reason why I'm doing double bearings is because you can see, okay, well, right now it's not spinning, but the this is the speed of the bearing. But if I attach another bearing and make it rotate in the same direction, we'll do the full 360. Yeah, exactly. I'm just explaining it for other people who don't play the game as much. So the reason why I'm doing double bearings on a controller is because... So look, now it's spinning like twice as fast, essentially. Uh, which is really useful, obviously. Uh, because controllers have a max speed. Like right now, obviously, this controller is only halfway upgraded. Uh, but we will go all the way to the max and get full speed there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'll just be reversing with W and S. Um... Humbardo, the uh, the this the model for the, all the characters in Scrap Mechanic are available in the folders. You just have to go into the survival folders and take a look in there. Yo, Zippy, thank you so much. Good to see you. So we only need two steering bearings on that, and I guess I only have okay. Well, I only have four of these at the moment. Okay. I think these are all wrong. So I only have four bearings right now. That I can attach. So we're only going to do the front ones. Does that make sense? Yeah, you don't have to do that though. I can go forward and backwards. Or no, can I? With the controller? Yeah, oh yeah, I just have to let it go. Yeah, it, it takes a bit to like reset the whole loop. But you can go backwards. You can go forwards. It's working. It just kind of has an auto reset moment. <laughs> uh, no, not really any of the new games. No, I don't play. Uh, I don't know what FH5 is actually. Oh, whoa! Our first enemy on the mobile base must defend the mobile base. Cherry pickers? Yeah, those are. They're very good for that. So we're gonna go and get more component kits so we can upgrade this, uh... We need to upgrade the, um... The controller that we're using. Oh wait, no, that was perfect right there. Whoops. There we go. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong way. This is it's very important that we get this right. Some things are just more crucial in Scrap Mechanic than others. And there we go, we've got a hood ornament. Yeah, component kits is our next mission. Um, so we have... Uh, let's see, we got some stuff here. Let's start cleaning up. Because we're pretty much ready to just hop on the vehicle now, right? And remember, this is... Oh man, look at the size of this microwave! Oh my god, it's such a big microwave! <laughs> Forza Horizon 5. Ah, I see. Um, yeah, no, I'm not... Uh, I don't buy a lot of games, honestly. I'm picky when it comes to games. Yeah, exactly, username. There's no fuel or anything like that. We're just gonna go straight to controller. Um, okay, you know what, actually. We're gonna... We're gonna leave this fresh sign behind. We'll come back for it another day, I promise. We're gonna leave the, um... We're gonna leave those scrap wheels there. So this was the input chest, so let's just go back again to the input here. And we're gonna make sure that... It's tucked up as close to the, uh, craft bot as possible. And we'll do the same on this side. So it's just a little bit of an overhang there, that's not a big deal. It was your brother's birthday yesterday? Well, happy birthday to your bro. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Scrapman. I don't know. He's he's kind of done with survival for now. I think he might be just waiting for chapter two. So uh, unless we can somehow come up with like a worthwhile gimmick, then it's not. I don't know. Like he might just be more interested in waiting for um, chapter two to come out, right? So we'll see. 
But we want all of our lights. I definitely want lights on this thing. Could you imagine if I just finished this build like this and it was just like, all right, guys, there you go. It's a mobile base. Survival is done. <laughs> no, this is going to be cool. It's going to be a really cool mobile base. I'm really excited. I have lots of really good ideas. And obviously, as well, as we expand on these ideas, um, you know, we'll be working on it together and we will be sharing our ideas together. And it's going to be even better for it. Because we'll collaborate. So I think that, sh that should be everything. Okay, hold on. I, I forgot about the tote bot heads here. We gotta mount them somewhere. I think that's everything. We'll come back for that. Everything's there. Everything grabbed there. We're gonna go on a component kit hunt now. Would it be faster to walk? Yes. It needs a bed, you're right. It does need a bed. Arc survival, man. I I never got into arc. I've never even tried it, honestly, but oh god, this turning radius. <laughs> I mean it would have been easier if we uh had some upgrades here. We'd be moving a little bit faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. We can brighten these bad boys up, right? At least the front ones. Yeah, I don't have a paint tool, so... You love the thumbnail? <laughs> Alright, here we go! We finally made it! To the rest of our farm here. Yeah, I get, how much... What's the, um... You're right, I need a bed, actually. I haven't even gone... I haven't even slept in a bed here. Which means if I were to die, I would go all the way back to the starting position. Is it interactive? There it is. So I need 10 more cotton and 2 more paint ammo. So... I am pretty compelled to stay on my feet for now. You hope this becomes an RV? No, see that's the thing, this is not gonna be an RV. It's gonna be a little more base oriented than just like a... It's not gonna just be a vehicle, you know? Where is the engine? It's better with the engine. We're using controller power. The only problem is it's a level 4 controller. Yo, George Orman, what's going on? Good to see you again. Welcome back. You have the component kits to already... Oh, wait, do I? Oh, I guess I can upgrade it one more time, right? Oh, at least there's that. Oh, there we go. That's a l That's better. So I need to make sure I just... I want to, like, place these off the road so we don't ever run over them. Wait, is this just a runaway vehicle? Is it ever going to stop? Or did I... Oh, you know what I did? Okay, I, th I thought it wasn't going to stop for a second. You're too fast. <laughs> Let's get some extreme first-person action going. So, <laughs> We're zooming now, boys! Make it wide and do a mobile forest remover? No, I have conquered. I have tried to do the forest, like, clear-cutting. It's not very straightforward. Okay, this has to be a... Uh, this tower here must be done now, right? So we're going to park our vehicle. Um, we're going to... No, we'll leave that on for now. Move two more bearings to the back and make a real wheel drive. I'll be fine. Okay, wait. We can connect two more now, actually. Like so. So now we're going to get more more traction so we need component kits though okay i'm gonna eat this extra banana the other banana is there that's the main banana we're gonna eat this one 
I know I, I know you guys are very impressed by how fast our mobile base is, right? It's quite impressive. I will kindly ask you to stay calm, cool, and collected while we zoom on the road. Glowbug eating your car challenge? That could be interesting. It's just tough to do stuff with glow bugs. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Ah, I'm out of here. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. This. Eat, drink, be merry. Come on now! Nope! I need a bed! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! Alright, Captain JR, see you later, right? Thanks for dropping by. Uh, don't mind me, sorry guys, I'm just... You know, running for my life here. I thought there was four of them. Or maybe I, I must have already killed one. Wow, look, see, this guy's really scared now. He's very scared. He doesn't want to deal with me. Nice. We survived. Use the topot head as a horn. Come on now, I can't take one breather. Oh, was that the fourth one? Well, that was weird. Use your lift. I know. Okay, yeah, I'll use my lift. I guess I could. Get to some water? I know. I almost died there. That was close. All right, George, thank you for dropping by. Good to see you again as well. And uh, yeah, there'll be plenty more streams in the future. Don't you worry about that. So I'll see you in the next one. We did it! We survived! Oh, and we're already full health again. Wow. Man, how lucky are we to just have all this cotton here? Am I right? Just free cotton. The music was perfect. <laughs> It's kind of nice to start over again because, so like, when you have a really like mature world, um, it really starts to kind of get annoying to see certain things like circuit boards, for instance. After a while, like when you see a circuit board drop, you just ignore it, right? You have a, you have a chest that's filled with them, you got like 300 circuit boards, but when you start over, it's like, hey, wow, these circuit boards kind of feel like there's value to them again, right? I still think they need to make it so that you can turn circuit boards into component kits somehow. Like a 10 to 1 kind of thing. Back tires won't spin. Oh, yeah, that's right. The extra bearing won't, uh... The extra bearing there is not gonna do anything for us. So we'll have to just upgrade it then. Yeah, I should have, uh... I should have gone into any bed. Mind you, it's not like the mechanic station is that far or anything like that, but, like, how did he know I was here? Well, that's one way to deal with them. <laughs> and a component kit. Win, win. Yeah, that's true, actually. Like, you are doing the logic stuff. Wait, so you're doing logic builds in survival, are you? The, the stream will end when Moombo's done streaming. <laughs> Facts. So yeah, so tomorrow, I don't know if I will be streaming Scrap Mechanic or uh, maybe a different game. I... I don't know yet. 
I'm kind of thinking about um, doing more scrap mechanic because I'm kind of really getting into this whole uh, survival run here. But at the same time, oh boy. At the same time, I kind of want to start up a raft survival world as well. And oh my god. I think uh, starting up a raft survival so we can have kind of like two different survival games to jump back and forth in between. I'm gonna die. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, the logic systems for farming. Yeah. Nice component kits. Oh, yeah. No, please. I am not ready, sir. Excuse me. Hey, that works. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Component kits are a, are a scam. You can still go three-wheel drive with the controller. That's true, yeah. That's true. Stream scrap mechanic. Well, you don't want to see some raft? You've always wanted to play raft. Yo, Frokachu, I'll be playing some potentially tomorrow, so... Alright, I kind of need some seeds, actually, because I need carrots. You like the character doing voiceover? I know, isn't it cool? Look, two component kits. Another component kit. And a carrot. Yummy. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing Ark, Richard. I don't think so. <laughs> component kit. Component kit. Inventory full. We don't need all that soil. We'll be, like, there's... Soil... You get your soil, you know? Like, the soil is never a problem. Yo, Virginia! I'm glad to hear you're excited about the streams again. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny, actually. Yeah, when you kill a Haybot... They package up all their little pieces for you. And they're like, here you go. I heard you wanted one of these. Yeah, this ruin is nuts right now. There are so many chests right now. So many kits. Oh my goodness, it's never ending. Have you found a gold? Yeah, we found one gold chest so far in this run. Another one. I don't need potatoes. <coughs> Do I have chemicals in my bag? Get them out of here! I don't want potatoes either. Oh, we brought the calendar with us. Okay, we're gonna have to make some chests, I guess. We are gonna need some more chests. Yeah, cool man, thank you for letting me know about those chemicals. I'm trying to keep my bag- Oh look, here's another- wait! This is the same spot! Another gold chest! Look at all these chests! Component kit! Oh my god, there's another chest! How? Oh my goodness, there's so many chests! Soon there will be two gold chests. Could you imagine? Oh my goodness, what are we gonna get in this bad boy here? Yeah, I should go buy a lottery ticket, eh? Boom! Ooh, free piston. I'm cool with that. We take those. So, um, how are we doing? Okay, we got a lot of tomato. I'm just going to eat this uh, red beet. First things first, we're going to take that piston. That's a free piston right there. And I do tend to like glass blocks. I like grabbing them because they're, they're a pain to... Uh, they're a bit of a pain to deal with uh, in terms of making them. Um, so let's see. I should have put some of this stuff on the vehicle before we came out here, actually. Come to think of it. Not really working smart here, are we? Do they spawn on every chest once? I don't know about that. Press X to doubt. Alright, I think we're doing good on tomatoes. Oh, that's why we keep getting tomato seeds. It makes sense, because we're harvesting tomatoes. Duh. 
What do I want to ditch here? I think we got, okay, we got loads of the honeycombs, so we're going to ditch the honeycombs. We have more than enough. Oh my goodness, another chest! And it's another Copernicus! And when in Rome, why not? We'll take some more cotton. Put some stuff in the locker, then carry it? No, that'll be even slower. We got 20 there, that's good. Yell at me for the beet seeds? Well, I'm keeping them right now just because I don't have any seeds, you know? Yeah, mining rocks is not favorable. Oh, I think I parked the car up on the road here. Wait, where is the car? Oh, wait, it's back that way, isn't it? Yeah, that's it there. I almost went the opposite direction of that thing. <laughs> No, I know it's RNG, but how big is my beard now? It's actually quite large. And yo, B and R beats, good to see you. Yeah, it's a pretty long beard now. I mean, this uh, this is a pretty accurate representation of it right here, actually. So, yeah, my voice lowering mod went over. <laughs> Whoops! I meant to press that. I mean, I meant to press the button. Holy macaroni here, what's going on? Craftables. Well, the fuel is not a craftable, but we're putting it up there. Okay, we don't need the meat. We do not need that meat, we're not gonna bother. Um, so let's make a little chest here. Well, hold on. Let's get our scrap metal in. Let's get all of our primary craftables in. Wait, another thing too is we want to upgrade this. Okay, there we go. So this is fully upgraded now. So that means we don't have to worry about these wheels not spinning anymore. We have max speed as well. Oh, hold on. It's just resetting, is it? I think it was just resetting. Really excited for the series, right on, Ravioli. I'm glad to hear. I mean, I'm I'm actually really excited for this too. And so far, I feel like we're doing a really good job of like, you know, making it happen. What was in here? Okay, there was some spuds in there. Okay, that's fine. The spuds will stay in the microwave. Glass is uh, craftable, right? It's a block, so we'll make sure we'll kind of put it in our block section here. Um, circuit boards, obviously, no doubt, no doubt. That's kind of the glue and that stuff there. We'll get those circuit boards up. Food? How's it looking here? I guess we're gonna want to craft some metal. So many chests, Mubo can't speak. I know, right? Oh yeah, the bed, the bed, the bed. Good call, good call. We need one of those. Um, where's my cotton? There it is. So there's our cotton. So we're gonna do a bed right away. Yeah, good idea. We're gonna do a bed right away. You were waiting for the series, so you clicked so fast. Nice. So. Let's help him kind of clear it up a little bit. So we can actually, so this is only dumping stuff and it's never gonna be that bad. So for the time being, I think it's really important that we kind of uh, multi-facet our devices, right? So in this case here, we can kind of use this as like a food storage system, right? Oh, whoops, that's already full. We can use it like a food storage system here. Put that there. We'll keep our milk out. I need to grow some carrots too eventually actually, so... Now one thing... So these chests... Hmm... I don't know. I kind of want to just keep making large ones. Moombo needs to be the seed gang. 
Oh yeah, oh my goodness, I forgot all about actually, whoops. I forgot all about using this storage locker as an actual storage locker. <laughs> what a novel idea that is. So there's only room for four things though, so it's not like there's a lot, so... Um, well, we can post our calendar on there for now. And you know what, why not throw the old radio on the opposite side? Whoops. Like that, we'll just throw it down flat. And then, so we have some building materials here. So these are gonna wanna get stored. Um, we'll put the switch down here and we'll just hook it up to the piston like that. And then that way, if we ever need to, we can just kind of signal our piston, you know, we can be like, hey! Over here! That won't come in handy at all, but you know. So we got a battery. Saddle seat we'll keep. Fill up our blocks. Honey is way too abundant right now, actually. Um, and a mug. We'll get our mug on the ready. They're called taters. Yeah, we'll be using large wheels later. How much? I think we don't. I don't think we can afford a beacon at the moment. It's level metal two, so we need ember and water at that point. Which means if we want water, we have to either find it, or we need to pump it ourselves. Which means I need block two. Wait, I need metal two for a pump, and for metal two, I need water. But for water, I need a pump. Welcome back, pineapple. I guess what I have to do is find water in a crate? Is that how it's gonna work? Piss and let the farm bots know your location? Well, that sounds like a bad idea. So I think if I let go of- if I jump out of the seat while holding down W- Oh, I thought it was gonna keep going automatically. No, I guess not. Yeah, so I can't afford one of those yet. But it's pretty sweet. We are definitely, like, we're on the go now, right? Like, we are... Okay, well, we're gonna have to go back to the mechanic station eventually. Because there are certain things that we're gonna need, like, from the uh, crafting station, right? Or the bot crafting station. You can craft water jugs with buckets. Oh, that's right! I... Man, I totally forgot about that, so I should have really grabbed those buckets. You know what, that's alright though. Yeah, this is definitely not fast, but this is only two bearings, so the idea is that the more bearings you add, the faster you'll go, right? Was there scrap metal in the grass? How do you do that with your scrap mechanic avatar? Um, it actually takes quite a bit of time and setup to do. Uh, my girlfriend did it. And she did an absolutely amazing job. You can craft water, Subnautica moment. <laughs> oh, that's too good. That is a too good. So we're just doing a quick tour here. Of the area. So we were down here already. That's the packing station. Hmm. Randomly joined the game. Oh, pothole! We almost got stuck in a pothole! <laughs> yeah, this is our boy now. He's just chilling. Mobile bases in Scrap Mechanic are really funny too because of the fact that the bots are kind of like, they, they kind of give off life, you know? They seem to be alive, so it's kind of funny to be moving them around. You can craft buckets too? Am I going full nomad? No, there's no rules. I'm not, I'm not constraining myself with any rules. Hey, whoa! You there! Yeah, I'm not constraining myself to any rules, so it's not like... I'm not gonna stop myself from doing something because of any unspoken or spoken rule, you know? I'm just gonna play and have fun and do what feels right. 
But at the end of the day, the whole point is to have your base with you. Like, if, if I can do something, or if I could do something, then I will be able to do it on my base. Oh my, did I even craft the bed? Yeah, I should probably take a nap, shouldn't I? There we go. Now we're talking. We'll have to make a Haybot cam next. <laughs> I mean, we could, in theory, we could do a VTuber face for, like, everything in this game. As long as there's a model, you can do it. You just have to rig it. Well, this is just riveting. It's gonna take some time to, uh... I feel like we're leaving the base too far. Oh wait, no, I meant to go up into that ruin, actually. I didn't realize I turned that radio on. <laughs> Can I give you a catch-up? I mean, here's the catch-up right there. There you go. There's two hours of work right there for you. The mech's looking good right on. I think it's best to stay on the road anyway, actually. Just to, like, avoid, uh... Like, every now and then a Haybot might just mindlessly wander up to your vehicle and just start attacking it. Why isn't this a co-op with Jato? Well, we'll probably end up playing stuff together on, on stream in the future. Have I cleared this since... I don't think I've cleared this since a respawn, have I? Or just has this just not respawned? I guess I don't think this respawned. No, it did not. I thought it was um, long enough ago. Wow, so with the Haybot, I would probably maybe if they have light or like is do they have like a mouth thing at all? How about a walk cam? The old walk cam. That'd be pretty funny. I'm talking about the fact that they missed two hours. That's why I said two hours. Because they said they were gone for two hours. Team Banana, look at this. Look at our front. Look at this bad boy right here. I'm gonna eat it. Ow, 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 ow. No, he doesn't move his mouth enough. <laughs> Adjust all the bearings for more speed? I already did, didn't I? They're all hooked up. It's as max speed. It's because I just need more bearings. So if I- if we can- we'll add bearings and stuff like that. It will get faster and faster. But eventually we might have to switch to an electric motor. Or just something that will provide, um... Just more power at the end of the day, because... This is really slow. Painfully slow. Oh, I, I managed to run past him? Wow. So you can craft buckets? Alright, we're just gonna leave- yeah, we're leaving those buckets behind. I don't even care. We're gonna leave them behind. <laughs> So this is cool, we're driving while crafting. Our first time driving and crafting at the same time. It'd be cool if a different streamer would join every time I streamed, or a different YouTuber would join. I mean, that would be interesting. That would take some planning. You're gonna make a Banana Gang shirt? Where are you getting all the batteries? Yeah, well they, hey, they did talk about, they teased um, a battery generator, right? But yeah, no, it's definitely not a good idea. Alright, Mikel, yo, thank you so much for dropping by. It was good seeing you. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, look at Mr. Haybot here. He's eyeballing us right now. He's eyeballing us. He wants some of this.
sometimes I kill them so easily, and other times I suck. Drive craft. <laughs> I think there is a banana shirt in game. Did I not? Oh, wow. That's why you guys get paid the big bucks around here. <laughs> Alright, you want to see some floating science real quick? Let's just see. For the sake of science. Nope, it does not float. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is gonna make it a little bit faster, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. We're moving a bit faster now. I like it. I need a nice piston engine. Yo, look at this engine. Look, this is my piston. This is for Yukon. This is the piston engine right here. It's working. So, you tell me what kind of piston engine I need. Oh no, come on, piston engine, let's go! Come on, piston engine! Keep pushing! We're going back around! <laughs> okay, make sure there's nothing around here that's going to attack us. Except for our own vehicle sliding away. That's its, it's, it's, its own worst enemy right now. For anyone who's not familiar with Scrap Mechanic, that is not a piston engine at all, by the way. <laughs> I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh my god, I just got stuck. So here's what we're gonna do. I like to... I really liked this whole getting them stuck here kind of shenanigans. Okay, well, they're not getting stuck there. Never mind. <laughs> Come on. Don't do me like this. Oh, wow. He just ragdoll off of his one, one of his buddies there. Okay. Wow, more! Co more cotton! Can you believe it? Bottoming out. Yeah, I know. Rupert, I know you... you I'm bottoming out. I know. We're trying to save up for bigger, better wheels. An interest in RVing. Yeah. What's next? Fanny packs? I'll take a carrot. Are you guys- oh, are people still mad that I'm not using the lift? <laughs> I mean, wait until I get the spud shotgun anyway. Once we get that... Oh my god, he spent- he launches me up in the air sometimes. Um, David, yeah, you could technically do it with anything that has a model and a rig. The mouth stuff is kind of weird, but, um, yeah, you can do it with any, any model, really. It's quite impressive, though. It takes, it takes some time. It's not like a, it's not a very quick process, let's say. Yeah, I did say we'd stay on the roads, didn't I? Well, it's because I, I was really excited to show Khan our amazing piston engine, right? I wanted to impress him, so... I kind of just jumped the gun on that a little bit, didn't I? Alright, Crispy, you take it easy, man. When am I going to move the big chests in the ruin? I don't know. Maybe never. See, there you go. That's better than using a lift, isn't it? That's using your brain. I wear a fanny pack. <laughs> It's our first blueberry! Oh god, I'm gonna die for it.
Oh my god, there's another one. We got him. The piston engine is amazing. <laughs> Oh, was it more dodgy climbing? Well, I have been getting launched into the air a little bit. So these are new ruins now. We have not been inside of these ruins yet. And this one is not rewarding us. One blueberry equals one like. <laughs> That's the like ratio, is it? Oh, get! You know, I haven't really... I know this wedge-powered car thing. Scrapman was doing some wedge testing stuff, was he? And he managed to, like, get a wheel to spin based off of friction. Like a friction spinning wheel or something. But look, we have an island! Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually. There's a pretty neat island with, like, a chemical plant on it. That's nice. Uh, wait, you're trying to make me choose between brick and wedge gang? Are you trying to get me in trouble? <gasps> oh, look at that hitbox right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, that's what I get. <laughs> that's what I get. The wheel glitch has no torque. Yeah, so what, can it, it can't really push a heavy thing. I mean, there's probably no way we're ever gonna use it for something like a mobile base. Let's see here. So, I'm gonna get the gas out of there. That's just, it's really not craftable enough for me to like, care. So we'll move it down. More fertilizer is always nice. We've got our buckets now so we can actually make some water. Put that banana to work. <laughs> yes. We got all sorts of lights. Stop trying to convert him. <laughs> so, let's see here. I guess we can go down to the water. Let's drive down to the water and set up a farm. Okay, well, since we're gonna break corn, we might as well get the corn. We can't waste all that corn! So the cool thing about having lots of bearings like this as well is it it starts acting like suspension in a way. Because the physics are so loose that it does actually start acting like a little bit like suspension. Hey, there's a free chest over here. Slab gang. Yo, Ghost, how's it going? We're gonna do carrots because I'm I'm plenty hydrated, but I am not at all getting filled up here.
Well, I guess we can kind of just put our pipes in there for now, right? And then here I'll just pop a couple pipes down to get them out of there. And corn was just going to go in our food receptacle. Farm some carrots. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. And yo, Kamikaze, this music is the Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack. This music makes it feel like a speedrun. <laughs> well, I can assure you, it is not. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to grow some carrots. So we got some carrot seeds. We got five plots there and a bucket. We got everything we need. We're going to have a little temporary farming zone here. Because I am sick of eating tomatoes. It's not, it's not doing it for me. Can I craft soil or no? I probably should have grabbed more soil. There's no crafting soil, is there? Yeah, I should have grabbed... I should have grabbed some... Oh, wait, no, I can! Oh, well, no, I'm definitely not going to be able to craft any. <laughs> Alright, Afro Shield, see you later. Thanks for dropping by. No, I don't make mods or anything like that, no. Not into that. Here we go. I guess I might as well make some water while we're here as well, right? So if I fill this up... Because this is a bucket with water, right? Is it? Does it know? Oh yeah, there we go. So that's the thing, there are no rules. We're not doing a rule thing. This is not like a gimmicked style of... Okay, I'll do two buckets. There's no gimmicks or anything, it's just, you know, building a mobile base, doing things when you can. Big brain strats. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we've got going on here is big brain strats. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, that's the plan. I think I could have put nine, though, I think, or something, maybe. I don't know. I think five is enough, though. Like, it's just it's just to get some food so that I can not eat tomatoes all day long, you know? So, I've got some corn here. We might as well uh, feed this boy. There we go, this girl. Old Bessie. Anarchy. <laughs> is there some more corn in the vicinity? There is, right here. Look at that. How perfect is that? So this is, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the whole corn and wax milk thing was kind of like a fail-safe. Um, so even if you have nothing, I mean, you'll need your hammer. I don't even know if you can drop your hammer. No, you can't drop your hammer, but you could forget it somewhere, I guess, but it's kind of like a fail-safe just in case you um, don't have any food and you're about to die. It's like your final, you know, chance at being rescued, basically. Nine plus is the limit. I guess it depends on the crops, though, right? It depends on what crops you're growing. Oh, uh, yeah, this will be similar to uh, Scrapman's Nomad, you know? Except I just, I'm not following, there's no rules or anything. We're just having some fun. And I am going to do whatever I need to do to get the job done. Yeah, exactly. It's farm value and not just the plots, right? Like, say, if I were to come over here and start growing broccoli or pineapple, it would probably trigger that raid, right? I would imagine... All right, we're going to eat our blueberry. Yay! Yeah, no, the game is not done. I don't even know if this game will ever be done, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. I mean, you either enjoy the game or you don't. Um... We'll put our extra milk up top here. Nice little food chest going here. I like that. 
So we did grab some metal, or I mean some water, right? So this is our input on this side. So we're going to put our metal one back in. We have water now as well. Your cat's enjoying the stream? Right on. What's the music that you normally use in your videos that has the sort of beeping sound to it? I, I don't know what song you're referencing right now. <laughs> I don't know. So what do we want with this water? We wanted... Oh, we have no ember. That's right. So we need ember. And I do believe on the other side of the oil, there was definitely... Um, there was definitely ember forest on that side with the oil pond. But I'm going to leave this here. That's doing its thing. I'm going to run over to this. Okay, I got food. Yeah, we're going to run over to this ruin and do a quick ruin run there. Your car's license plate is literally blueberry. Really? That's awesome. I'm a milk and blueberry kind of guy in survival, so... It's the mo-capped avi for you? How? Um, so there's a program called VC Face, and it's it's spelt V, like the letter V, and then S-E-E. -E, VC Face. Uh, but that's not, it's not as simple as just, you know, turning that program on and being like, hey, you can now magically be anything you want. There's more to it than just that, but that is the program that's being used for the face tracking. You barely started Chapter 1. I mean, there's not that much in Chapter 1. So I think people really want to see me just kind of squish them. Hey! You're not supposed to just attack it! There we go. Okay, I need a bigger... I need a bigger chunk of, uh... Wood than that, but that's not as fun. It's not as fun to do it that way, is it? You never know how to start survival games? I mean, it really depends on the game, right? And I think that's actually... So one of the trickiest things in survival games is the idea of, like, starting off. Like, it can really make or break a, a player's first-time experience um, in a survival game in those first... in that first, like, hour or two. It can really, like, you know, dictate how you're gonna, like, experience the whole game. Yeah, I guess I probably could stand on the platform, but I'm not too worried about it anyway. It's fun swinging the hammer. Well, they kind of do have lights on their head. They have a sparking... It's like a sparking thing. Okay, we're definitely going to grab soil, actually. I definitely want the free soil. I, I left it behind when I should have grabbed it. Okay, well, that's not going the way I want to go over there. So we'll go up here first. You can drop the tote bot heads. Yeah, that's true, actually. I could just drop the tote bot head. I guess I find, for me, it's just as easy to pop it in the ground. But, yeah, I could see after a while them adding up and becoming a bit of an issue. Oh, don't fight on the edge. There we go. Yeah, step one. Try to survive! Your buddy came out to say hello. Man, some of these... I swear, they're hacking. It's a hacker bot. I think I did take a hit. <laughs> oh, whoops. 
Battle Gamer, what's going on? Good to see you. Look how polite that guy is. He, he like, waited for me to finish. What a nice Haybot. You know what? I think they're actually slowly starting to heal and become good again. I forgot to put up farm defenses. No, there's no raids happening right now. I am not farming big enough to raid just yet. The, my mobile base is not ready for that, obviously. And quite frankly, neither am I. You know what? We'll take water. Storm edits, what's going on? Where? What's my local time? It's currently 6 p.m. Well, just a little after 6. I'll let you figure out the rest. So, let's see here. That might be Hank the Haybot. We've we've destroyed Hank over and over again. Hank didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Did I get some dirt yet? Yeah, I found a couple plots of soil so far, actually, yeah. Are we going to get lucky with another gold chest? Probably not, right? No. Whoa, double batteries on that one. Yeah, this one is not... Yeah, this one's flat to the ground. We can't even lift that one up. Even if we wanted to. You get a really good view from up here. It's really nice. Really kind of scope out what everything's doing. Okay, will we survive this? Oh, I thought we were going to go right through that crack. <laughs> you like the music? Right on. It's not a certain amount of crops. It's crop value. Uh, you can go online. Uh, someone might be able to link it or something, but there's a website. Uh, I don't even know. I wish I knew who made it, actually. I should know who made it. Uh, there's a website online that calculates raid your crop or your farm value or your crop value and you can uh, you can go online and put your crops in and how many you have and if they're all in the same chunk and it, it will tell you your raid strength. Yeah, I mean, I think we can all theorize that this game is going to revolve around repairing the, f the crash ship or something that will get you off the planet, you know? It's very similar to Subnautica in that way, really. But obviously this game, like, creatively is just a totally different beast, right? <gasps> Another banana! Very nice webcam, that's right. This is, in fact, a webcam. This is my real face. Don't question it. <laughs> huh, this one little ruin here sucked. They also have a phone app. Oh, nice. There you go. Blue Flame has just linked it down in the chat there, guys. If you do want to take a look, if you're relatively new to uh, Scrap Mechanic and stuff, you can go and get some great info. It's really good for uh, if you... If you really are trying to be careful um, with your raids and all that good stuff. Oh, I thought that was my vehicle, but it's just a Topot head. Of course. Why would that be my whole vehicle? It's just one dot. Oh, I left my vehicle at the beach. What am I even doing? Yeah, Chapter 2 is going to be pretty sweet, actually. I'm pretty excited for it. So it's pretty uh, apt that I started uh, survival again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the chapter two update won't be too far behind. Yep, ravioli. The whole stream will be available on YouTube. Absolutely, yeah. They look like they have rave lights. <laughs> I mean, if you um, you know, some people can't stop thinking about rave. So if you're one of those people. Endless Raver.
Look at that, we got some, look at how much fuel we've got. We're fueled up, baby. Yeah, so we did get a little more soil here. So I think it might be a good idea to like, kind of like stock up on um, on some some hardier food. Well, I guess it would probably help if I put some seeds in the ground, wouldn't it? How long have I been recording now? Like, how long has the stream been going? Well, it's been almost four. It's been like four hours now, actually. I think I got to go eat in a moment here. So why don't we just wrap up? Uh, our little farm here. So that's good. We're gonna actually keep that soil with us from now on too. So that's the beauty of uh, of this as well. So we're gonna have we're gonna pick up soil and put it down and farm and protect it with our mobile base, and then uh, and then pick up the soil again and move it to the next uh, next location wherever that might be. Yeah, those are growing. Are the developers adding a boss fight in chapter two? I don't know. I don't I know they teased the um the the trash bot or whatever that goes at the top of a warehouse. They teased that a little bit. Um I don't know though. We don't know if they have any substantial plans on releasing that in chapter two. Or maybe it was just a a tease for no reason? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's so nice to be organized, isn't it? This game is pretty good for being organized and all that stuff. It does a good job of letting you really customize all that stuff. Are you going to get a delicious dinner? Yeah, we made pizza for lunch and we're going to have the other half of the pizza for supper. So I think that's a pretty good spot to stop it there. Let's just kind of wheel over right here next to the farm. Um, so I mean, look, this is the start of the mobile base. You gotta start somewhere, right? That's right, yeah. Plasma wheels, or plasma drills, sticky wheels, they're gonna be really good for that, yeah. It's pretty exciting. Holy macaroni! I mean, pizza. <laughs> to help pay for dinner. Well, wow. well thank you so much username for the $10 super chat. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. It'll be a good good dinner, won't it? <laughs> so I think we're in a good spot here. An organization bot. Banana on pizza instead of pineapple. David, are you trying to make more enemies? <laughs> but it's a start. I think we'll be back tomorrow with some... Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more survival for Scrap Mechanic. I'm feeling it. We'll be getting into Raft and even like Diablo 2 and other games as well. Um, we'll be playing all sorts of different stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. Um... Uh, yeah, Prime, I'll take a look at it after the stream, actually, so. Uh, but yeah, so thank you so much for the super chats today, guys. Moonboy with that resub, or I, I'm so used to saying it like Twitch, but, um, how did he donate like that? There's a donate button. It's usually on, uh, the, uh, underneath the playback of the stream. Check the Twitter. All right. Did you at me? You didn't at me. I can't go digging for it. I know, yeah, hold on. Let me, so, like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, guys, the, uh, the, like, long-form members that stuck around, I want to give a hearty thank you to all of them. 
They're absolutely crazy. So yeah, Lego Freak, we got Hector Midgley, Moonboyo, of course, Kendrick Belmont, username, and Gareth Roberts. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to be back, and I hope you guys are happy to be back as well for the live streams, you know. And we'll do some real face cam every now and then as well. I just, I think this is a lot of fun. It, I can be, uh, you know, I don't have to get all ready in the morning or anything like that to stream. I can just hop on and you see the amazing little scrap mechanic guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with some more scrap mechanic survival. We'll be switching it up to some raft as well in the near future, some other games. It's gonna be loads of fun. So thank you so much for being here today, guys. Much appreciated. And I will be seeing you in the next one. So thank you again. And see you later. Bye for now.